In the shadow of the Manhattan skyline is the rank and American dream in East Rutherford, New Jersey. And it is the site of the 2024 USA Curling Men's and Women's National Championships after an exciting week and already an exciting day where Tabitha Peterson claimed the women's title. It is down to one more match, this to decide who will be the 2024 curling men's national title holder. And as we take a look at the bracket, John Schuster went through the round robin 7-0 but lost to Corey Dropkin in the first game of the Page playoff. He bounced down to the semifinal, defeated Danny Casper yesterday 7-5, and it sets up for the third consecutive night a matchup between John Schuster and Corey Dropkin. Each team trying to see if they can get a second win over the other in this tournament, and that would make them the national champions. Again, 7-0 for Schuster in the round robin, 5-2 for Corey Dropkin, but he came up with a big win when it counted in the page playoff, 9-5, to advance directly to this championship match. As we take a look at the teams for Corey Dropkin, of course, Dropkin the skip along with Andrew Stapera, Mark Fenner, and Thomas Howell. We'll see if they can make it two successive wins over John Schuster and for the first time win a national championship in an event that included John Schuster. And Schuster, on the other hand, will go with Chris Plies as the third. Matt Hamilton will actually be the lead. John Landsteiner still under the weather. Colin Huffman, the alternate, is in at the second spot. They have used Colin Huffman throughout this tournament. And they are once again in a final where John Schuster trying for a ninth national title. And one of those national titles, at least one, uh, more than one, was one with this gentleman right here who also won an Olympic gold medal in 2018, Tyler George. And Tyler, it is the finals, a national championship, a chance to go to the Worlds in Schaffhausen, Switzerland. So a lot on the line here and really an exciting moment for these players. It doesn't matter how many times you get there, Joe. It, it's always an amazing experience to wear USA on your back, represent your country. John, I believe, going for his eighth title, and they don't get old. <laughs> it's, it's the same every year. Corey has one of his own and a world title uh, in the mixed doubles category. But as you said, I, it'll mean that much more if they can get a win in a nationals that Schuster is involved in and represent the United States in Switzerland in a couple months. Won three national titles with Pete Fenson and that Olympic bronze medal in 2006. Then took over his own team and won national titles in 2015, 17, 19, 20, and last year. So trying to make it back-to-back -back titles as he did in 2019 and 2020. Once you start losing track of how many you have, <laughs> it's usually a good sign be interested to see if Schuster plays a little more conservative beginning uh, first half of the game as they did in that semifinal game against Casper where we would like to see a little more aggressiveness second half of the game was classic Schuster really got back to what helps or what makes them the team they are not going over the top with aggressiveness but rock positioning that chess match out positioning your opponent Neither team was particularly sharp in the 1-2 game with these two teams. Uh, but you saw Schuster really round into form the second half of that Casper game. I expect them to carry that momentum in to this final. It's a matter of Dropkin and his charges can match that energy and that level of play. And will we begin with the national anthem?
And from the national anthem, introduction to the teams that will compete here this afternoon for the 2024 USA Men's Curling National Championship. Introduction of the teams as the winner of the 1-2 match in the page playoff, Corey Dropkin with the hammer. He has decided to keep the hammer, Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a wise decision. Uh, we obviously talked about that earlier with the women's game. Tab won the game despite that decision. I'm not going to say that that makes it correct, but you play as well as they did. You deserve the victory regardless of those. But, yes, Corey will indeed take the hammer that he is given by virtue of winning the 1-2 game. And this will be a fun one. If you're talking keys to the game, I mean, we've gone back and forth on who's the favorite in this matchup. John has to be the favorite until somebody dethrones him, really. I mean, and Corey's been waiting to do that for so long. But, really, I think it comes down to, to one person uh, for Dropkin's squad that really – needs to have their best effort to give them a great chance, and that's Andrew Stepera. He, he didn't play his best game. I'm sure he'd be the first to say in the 1-2 game. The better he plays, the easier it is on Corey. He'll make those circus shots, Dropkin will, but you don't want him having to do it all the time. If Andrew can set Corey up so they're attacking with Corey Stones instead of chasing Schuster's rocks, that gives Dropkin the best chance of winning this game. We'll see what Stepera can bring to the table. And how much is that pressure on Corey Dropkin or how much does he need to forget that he's playing John Schuster and focus on winning the national championship? I think Corey likes playing John, honestly. He, he relishes these situations. He hasn't been able to come through in the final game of you know, the Olympic trials. He was an eyelash away. He's played him in the national championship game before. He's, he's itching to beat John <laughs> in this matchup. And again, flip side with Schuster. This is nothing new for this squad. They're not going to be caught up in the moment or anything like that. I think they carry a lot of momentum over for the way that they played the second half of that Casper game where they were really firing on all cylinders. I think you still have to have John the slight favorite just by pedigree, but the ace in the hole, four-team Dropkin. Howell and Fenner played a pretty solid game in the, in the one-two. I think you'll see a good effort from them, but Corey Dropkin, as we've said throughout the week in the last few months probably the best shooter in the country right now not necessarily in the long run but at this point Corey is making more shots and playing better than anybody in the U.S. and first stone for Mine's Schuster good. center guard that looks Mine's like it's just good. a touch off the line there, Clean. and so fine. Tom Howell now I, I like the play from Schuster though going to center guard to start and not wasting time letting drop can get comfortable doesn't mean that they're going to go all out steal, but they'd like to force the action a little bit and not let Good Dropkin job, get their feet under him. The way we said that Tab Peterson let Sarah 11. Anderson get comfortable 11. didn't end up <laughs> panning out for Sarah, but, but John wants to make Corey and his team make shots early, and I think that's the right way to go. Yep. Matt Hamilton with his Whoa, second please. stone. Yep. And the sun is Girl. dipping. Girl underneath the top Girl, of the building here so that coming Girl. through the clear really roof shouldn't go, be a big factor here today hard gotta go to get it out hard Keep and going. trying to That's tap good. that out that and colin huffman will do just that his goes out as well the other thing i'm watching for tyler 
John Schuster with his mittens on to start the game. He did that yesterday as well, and I think by about the third end, he said it's just too darn hot to keep the mittens on. <laughs> the temperature in the building feels comfortable right now. It's not nearly as warm as it was during the day yesterday. Even the day game today didn't feel as warm as yesterday. So that stickiness that we had with the ice where players really had to be positive on their releases to not have rocks turn over early, don't really foresee that happening. I think the ice is playing as well as it has and as consistent as it has all week right now. Credit to Sean Olis and the crew for their work the entire week with being in a mall in a very strange situation. But maintaining the conditions all week and now for the final, I think we're going to see the ice at its best too. And that shot just buried underneath the guard. Perfect position from Howell, really well done. Tommy, when he makes a few of those early, it makes a huge difference for him and his confidence in this game too. Now Colin Huffman's first of this first end. Need it all the way to it. In turn, freeze attempt from Huffman. Stay on the nose. Yep, yep, stay down. Good, good, good. And that will freeze on the nose of that redstone and stays, crosses to get to high side where it's a little open. That's a good Top shot from 12. Colin. We'll be keeping an eye on him too, Joe. The final round robin game against Drobkin, Colin was fantastic. Not quite as sharp in the 1-2 game. We'll see if he can bring that same shot making. We know what we're going to get from the sweeping with Colin. That same shot making he had in that final round robin game and for most of the week. Top if he can do fight. that again, that makes things Mine's so much good. easier on Chris Plies and Triple John Schuster line. following him. Just fight. And Root. Mark Fenner with his Where? first. Top 12, top 8. Yeah. Let it sit. Max. Max, wait. Whoa. Right next to it. Whoa. Off. Andrew, a little bit at the end. I want maybe. this to settle and not chip off. Good judge, guys. Yeah, that's Very a nice. really good judge 43. there. Good shot. Yeah, the factor you talked about ice conditions, maybe not getting what we had yesterday. Yesterday in the page playoffs, we did have four sheets going. Now it's only one. That helps keep the temperature more consistent on the ice, too, with less people out yeah. there. It's not as first. warm, but also you don't have to worry yeah, about no. really shifting temperatures if a team's game or the sheet Real next to you, their game oh, ends before do. yours. That can change the temp on, a, on that side well, of the sheet. Lot, no. Usually... As we mentioned during the women's final, right, when watch. there's only one game going, that's when you get Our the most consistent line, conditions with the least worry oh, about boy, anything good, changing. Good, 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 good. good spot. That way. And this That'll one play. right to the top of the house. Ever the, the guard. The single peel. And a first end here with. You're just like that. That or the, the guard. Some true interest <laughs> instead of just hitting away, as we saw in the women's final. That'll keep us awake. Not that that's much of an issue for me right now. I think I've had enough caffeine this week to bring one of those sheep to life. I finally get yep. through all those diet Dr. Peppers. <laughs> There's yep. a couple still left in the reserve, but I'm hoping I don't have to go to them. Very nice. The peel made by Fenner. Dropkin didn't really like the way the angle like set up. Ball? Up high, there isn't a good spot to freeze to anymore. So I mean, you don't have to stay it up. either. You can just kill this. Okay. Now in zero or two mode again. They can just throw nine. Kill this. Nine. Yeah. Now Chris Plies with a hit to try and kill that stone at the top of the four. Sure it's taking a little extra time here. Just resetting. As he said, regardless of how often you've been here, it's still a national Close. final. Close, lead, yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is going Close. backwards Carol. a little bit. Carol. Hard, Maddie. Hamlin trying oh, to turn it over you. to catch thank this you. thick and stick around. Out of way. And yellow does, the raise rock does stick. Dropkin can lose both these yellows Real. and sit too. Make them all go. Okay. <laughs> They also can lose all three and the shooter if they're just playing blank. Stay okay with this? Okay. If you hit it just a hair high, I think you can keep both reds too. 
We'll see if he, what he's going to do here or what we, the end result ends up with because Please. the shot from Corey Drafkin was make Whoa. them all go. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see what Stepera does here. Whoa. Needs to get Whoa. up a little bit. Yeah, just a Keep. little Keep on the going. wide side and doesn't lose both. Both teams have had really good hammer efficiency here in this national championship. Corey Dropkin up to 65%. John Schuster was at 75% coming into the playoffs. He's dipped to 60, but it's still a great number. Neither of these teams has much issue scoring two or more when they go after their twos. Early here, you may see a little bit conservative play. And there's going to be a double most likely for Dropkin, regardless of where this ends up from Kleis. They just want to leave it flat if they can to hit it on the nose. Maybe that one will get him going. Good throw. It seemed that Corey liked the way that Andrew threw the first one too. Maybe just ran a little straighter than they expected, but that perfectly executed that, that time from Stepera. So important to get him going early. Now Schuster with his first. Clean. Yep. Just Clean. to open hit and stick yep. for John. Plays it a little firm just to take the ice out of it a little bit. Probably a 9-0. No problem for John. You see Dropkin at the other end. Another thing we mentioned during the women's draw, when Nine. you have these straight hits like this, you don't need to talk too much <laughs> about what you're going to do. Just go to the other end, trust your third to put the broom down wherever. Can always adjust it from the hack. Clean, curl. Uh, Corey Dropkin. Yep. Yep. Fenner yep. trying to get this to Good. finish Good. a little bit to stick around. Rolls out to the wing, so if it stays over there, it's a shorter roll for Dropkin to get his blank. You see Schuster already in the hack to shoot this next one. And final stone from John Schuster is we're on our way to a blanked in if all goes according to plan. Hard to stay. Good, 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 good. All the way far. John rolls it to the middle to give Corey a longer roll again. That's a skills competition shot there. That's a five for the roll when we're messing around and grading on points in junior camps. That hit and roll from the outside is one of the shots we play all the time. <laughs> John correctly saying for the non-curling fans, they'll be cheering for that. They like when rocks go right on the center of the house. So last stone from Corey Dropkin. Yep. Clean. Out turn yep. peel yep. for the blank here. Just cleaning his fenner. We will have our blank. Both teams put a few rocks in play, but execution afterwards with Dropkin bailing does end up in a blank. Conservative start to this championship match. Blanked in. Dropkin holds the hammer for the second. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back at the Rankin American Dream as we begin the second in, Matt Hamilton with the stone. And if you go on to X, the platform normally known, formerly known as Twitter, and go to at Tyler T. George, you can get involved in his poll. Who do you think is going to win this thing? 
Just curious to see where the, the fans stand on their predictions. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. With the first end being oh, right, blank, man. you can yeah. still chime in and don't really have a real good read for what will happen yet, so it's fair to vote. Another center guard from Team Schuster. So keeping a little more pressure on. A little bit early. Wait, Wait good. close. Line's good. good. Copy. Good. Should be there. Yep. Line, Line only. only. Yep. And Tom Howell yep. trying to draw this around the guard. Yep, got to go. Going to get by. A little tight to the guard. Oh. Off, 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 off. Does oh, touch. Fine. And ends up on the paint, too, so Schuster will be able to hit that rock. 11-5, like Matt. 11 to 11-5. Five. 11-5. Five. So control, board, board weight here for Hamilton. Yep. 11. Yep. Whoa. Man, Matt eight. Hamilton. Whoa. 10, yep. Straight, straight, straight. For the Whoa. hit. To dispatch the stone from Tom Howell. Good. That way, Matty. Beauty. Good control of the front now for Team Schuster with two center guards, two tight centers that they can use. Dropkins going to try to draw around with Howell second once again. Now going on the intern side. A little Aboard. change in strategy here now after that first Top stone four. from Howell went just a touch deep into the Clean. house. Line's good. Top four. Half in the four. Needs to bring this around behind the guard. Stay close. Okay. It's going to be behind the T line. Okay, so now Schuster with two guards and a rock to draw up to. Go. Just a matter of which turn they want to play. They're definitely drawing in front of that rock. Top of the button or freeze. Now go for the end turn. Seven. A little bit of room. Got to wait. Colin right would really there. like to make one of these early, too. To so he feels right like he's there. got... Speed in his pocket. Made one good draw on the first. Had time to go all the way to it. Just let it go. Yeah, this let is still go, running too. Hang on, baby. All right, Colin. That's okay. It's fine, Colin. Ends up going by it. Not a good result right. there. The one good thing for Schuster is they do have those two Field yellows two. they can play in. So whatever drop can throw is. If Schuster feels like he needs Half to bail, the okay, they have two right rocks there. they can I'm use I'm to do so. Like. So you're never in a ton of danger just because Double of that. Setup you have in the front. Here? Yeah. Okay. I just, it gives them this. The run double. I prefer this side. Okay with the peel. Right. They make a good one, we'll okay play the double, the roll to a corner. <clears throat> so five rocks out. But Mark Fenner out turn draw here as they try and bring it behind those center guards to the top of the four. Top eight, top four. Corey's top eight. talking about ahead, where then. they can leave Little this stone early. that doesn't top leave eight. a run back double. Hard. Again, Big that Andrew. all important position with the tight guards up top. Dig hard. Sweeper's going hard to try hard. to get by and to carry keep for going. eight. Keep going, keep going. Again, just touches that not stone. Bad. Actually, not a bad thing for Dropkin that that touched the guard as it would have only been top 12s and staggered off that guard. Yep. So Schuster will have Colin Huffman with the intern draw again to try and move it into the forefoot. A little bit early if you can. We can go. Line's good actually now, line's good. Close, yep, I'll straight then. Okay, you can curl now. Time to go close. Go, you gotta go though. Push, Chris. Get button, go. Keep pushing. Oh really trying to get shot Two. rock. Does. There's a little separation, so Dropkin can play that red in. And signals for it right away. Good sweep by Hamilton and Plies. 
Looks like they're playing the yellow, actually, making sure they open this up. Queen! So saving that red for later. Close! Fenner playing the run. Yes! 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 Good. So picks it off clean and now takes that position away. Nice shot from Fenner. And now with Chris Plies, John Schuster will look to replace that yeah. rock at the button. Again, Plies down, gets back up. Yeah, Chris has reset the mechanism a couple times in this game. It's maybe not feeling quite comfortable. So always good to stand up, Line take an good. extra second. Close. Probably curl and now. I like it right now. Curl now. Got to go curl. Curl, They're push. Going for a weight, hurt 5-6. Keep pushing, going. We need all the Huffman trying to carry all that thing. Get to the nose. That way, Chris. Beauty. Yeah, well swept, well thrown. Important to get that all the way back to that stone. See, that hurts this. Can I, like, tick it and send the red back? Can I tick the yellow and send the red back? No, like, thin. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Interesting call. It'd be a very precise double it might, peel. It might head here. <clears throat> Give me a... Uh, Seven five. <clears throat> We're trying to just redirect off the yellow guard into the red and shoot the red back. So trying to open it up and whoa, make a run whoa. back at the same time. Curl. Run. Straight, straight, straight. <laughs> that was always an option too. <laughs> If it does get by the yellow and doesn't redirect, then that run is there. Now it's angled off that red guard, so they can't run that one back again. So it'll be the same thing for Plies, trying to freeze to that stone in the back of the fours. Good call by Dropkin to go plan B there. Final rock of the second for Chris Plies. More for the same result as the last one. This one's got a little more weight. They don't yeah, have to, lots of room to sweep, and it hasn't turned over yet yeah. either. This one is running. Go. Has Good to stop in front of that stone. Yeah, go now, Matt. Go now, Matt. Go now, Matt. That works. Good. Ends up on the button. It's decision time for Dropkin. They can play that slash in to sit two. They could draw up to it. Sit shot. I think the draw first is probably best, and then you can run on the next. I'm thinking it's this. What are they looking yeah. at? Peeling. It might be more than that, though, Tom, because we might Firm. It's a pretty Firm. straightforward Firm. draw tap if they play the intern. A little surprised that they're not I'd love to see this this way. Intern. I'd prefer to throw the out. Okay. Firm weight. <clears throat> they played away from draws with Stepera's rocks throughout the previous playoff game and this one. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Close. Whoa. Gonna get these all moving, see where they end up. Whoa. Need that rock to stay in the house. It'll spin through, so not a great result there for yeah. Dropkin, but just kind of an odd shot call in the first place, even though they know, wanted to open it up. Change anything. It still might be this anyways. I mean, if I roll in front of there, though, and they roll under there, we're in trouble. I mean, I can just try to do this too, right? Or get yeah. this by here. Yeah. We know how to get there. Yeah. I can also do this, right? Lie three that way. Yeah. I don't know what you think what's this one looks a little tougher to stay in line three, but this way just looks a little more dangerous, that's all. I agree, this one looks a little tougher to stay. Yeah. So let's play this in. I had 10-5 on, on Matt. Matt. Yeah, he was tight though and like threw it hard. So I think I can still throw 11 pretty confident right there. Okay. 
couple of different options discussed there, Tyler. Might put this into triple territory, but I'll let They want to try not five, to yeah. leave a triple, yeah. but sit three. But I read you, like, yeah. They thought about playing the like intern into their own yellow and keep three in the house that way, but not a lot of margin, though. this one's probably a little bit safer. Just can't hang it out and jam on the back. And obviously can't over curl and hit your own either. <laughs> so first rock of the second for John Schuster. Please. Trying to see if he can leave yep. really himself soft with weight. three. Gotta go! This is gonna turn with this weight. It's a matter of Huffman can hold curl, it. You curl, can't wreck curl, your own. Curl, curl. It is gonna wreck their own. Now they want to play it thicker. That's a big error there from Schuster. That's it removes their own. Yeah. Now Dropkin can hit the backstone and sit three and spread these out so that there isn't a really good double opportunity yep. either. Ten. Okay. <clears throat> Ten. It's possible that Schuster could have a triple hitting the top stone, but it's so risky to hit the third yeah, counter when the other team is sitting three. You have to make contact with the second one yep. or you're giving up a three automatically. So big shot here for Dropkin on where they leave this rock and see if it's Schuster like does indeed try to play that triple. So I'm talking about even more than just the skips deuce here. It'd be a big end for Corey Dropkin. His first of this game with the hammer. I have a second, excuse me, because I blanked the first. Clean. Just a 10 control weight here yep. for Dropkin. Clean. Yep. They yes. don't want to roll under Hard. their own. They'd like to be nose or Hard. roll away. Right to it. 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 Good. All right, so there's two options. Schuster can hit the number one and roll under the well, rock in the top 12s, that, and they have a stopper. Right? Like Probably the same. Yeah. She's looking at maybe even slash is, double and use well. that for a stopper. What's that? This might be thin. I think this Didn't. might be thinner than the double. It's really close. I think it'll go. But either way, I mean, I think we just gotta make the double and just the hope double that this sticks. Stick. Yeah. yeah. And Schuster thinking the triple is just too risky to play hitting the I number three. I, I, I think I agree. Like How thin is it? It's like a third, isn't it? Third. Or even thinner? Well, third? And, yeah, I'm just thinking that if we sit goes over the here, top at a third. Jam. If I if I dead nut it, he still has half of it. We just got to make the double. And they're trying to figure out I don't think so. where they need to hit this to make the double, and will that stick on the back the yellow? But they're but essentially the saying we're we're right probably the giving them two anyways. Yeah. Three. They don't want to give up three. They don't feel too bad about giving up two. So mostly this is just a double for Schuster on the back two. Is there a shot at the force that they can roll into their stone at the back? It's probably still open for a hit for two then. Close. To make the double, Close. their drop can yep, will have yep. a shot for two. Yep! Yes! Hard! Hard! Oh, it just papers uh, that rock and doesn't make uh -huh. the double. Yep. That's an eyelash away from We're at second, least right? clearing those two stones. It actually made contact with it. A little surprised by the curl there. Schuster threw that well. Right on the line they wanted to, just curled a little more than they thought. Now the first one was yeah. the, as John said, was the, the one that hurt. Yeah, even like a 13-8 stop. So to the four. paint for Dropkin for a third point early in this game. The difference maker Yesterday was three in the fifth for Corey Dropkin on an incredible shot. Felt flat, light this is much more straightforward on the last rock of the second for three. Sweepers on I'm this good, one early just to make sure inside the path. they don't look too concerned now. Should be maybe Not back four foot this line. And the smattering of applause that will now build as Corey Dropkin gets three in the second. Big score early for Dropkin. Schuster playing from behind by three points, maybe for the first time in this tournament. 
So Corey dropped it up three zip. As we move to the third end. And Steve's Curling Supplies, America's number one curling supplier for over 50 years, is a proud sponsor of USA Curling. And Steve's Curling Supply, you can save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USA Curling 10 at checkout. So go to stevescurlingsupply.com, use the code USA Curling 10, and you can save. stevescurlingsupply.com. Back at the Rankin American Dream 2024 USA Curling National Championships. Tabitha Peterson winning earlier today over Sarah Anderson. And right now, Corey Dropkin with three in the second takes the early lead against John Schuster. First stone from Tom Howell. Line's nice. Line's nice. What a start for Dropkin. Really close. Blanking the first. 14. Getting three in Andrew the second. A Injury if you can. Looked like they were playing that end yep, 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 in the yep. last few Very shots, nice. Joe. A little conservatively opening up the front, but got a bonus. Pushing one of the guards in the rings that ended up being an extra point. So one, that little okay, outside ahead, the box then. thinking by North not south. just playing straight Line peel get curl and getting a rock in the rings ends up resulting in an extra point. I'm sure Schuster would like to have that. To full two out of this bad boy. First one back, but again, it, it didn't really look like uh, job, guys. through the second one poorly at all. Right on the line he wanted to, just snapped up. But early in the game, yeah. Schuster's going to need to find a two somewhere, but this is a momentum end again. If they can get two, they feel like they're right back in the game and flip side for Dropkin. If they can keep Schuster from scoring multiple tighter. points in this end, that momentum starts building that much more. Yes. yes. Second from Tom Howell. Wait real close. Yes. Yes, yes. Trying to bring going, this boys. top eight. Curl, 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 curl. Good, very nice. Just throwing to a tight five. guard. Yep. And that's perfectly done. Great pair from Tom. Good position to start, and that's so important when you're trying to hold a lead to get your lead stones in the right position. Keep your opponent chasing. Make them waste Line stones on yours. Close, yep, yep, yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Out turn yep. freeze for whoa, Hamilton. Rope. Rope, rope. Bumps that rock a little, that's Ball. fine too. Uh, go ahead, yep, yep, no. That's good, we're, we're good, Maddie. All right, Maddie. Good pair from Hamilton too. Both leads playing well early. <clears throat> Top 12. Mark Fetters first. Just a stack on top there, right? Just throwing a top 12. They don't need to come all the way down to it. I want to get inside that guard. Top 12. Maybe clean. They'd like to bury as much as they top can, 12. too. Clean. Top eight. Clean. Right Wait, it should be Whoa. all there already. Small bump, if anything. Small bump. Bumping three inches, four inches. We're right off right now. It's, it's coming in. Bumping. They want it to die, not spill off. Oh, wait. Good spot. Bumps a little, but not good bad. 4-0. Really oh. Somewhere in here. Yep. And the freeze contest continues between these teams. Now the challenge to Colin Huffman. Like it. Where? Top eight. Right off then. Maybe top four. Right off. Right off. Right top on. four to curl, that might be moving that red, curl, like, but ass. they need to get to nose ahead, at Chris, least. Chris, curl of anything. Go, push, hard. Get her to the face, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Angle's not too bad. <clears throat> Ever like a nose hit? Might 
is that too. First thought was this. I'm okay with that. Probably just gets pushed to here. He could also Peel. play the intern freeze to that yellow. Corey's deciding with the three point lead. They want to play things simple. Going to run the red guard Nose in. Nose is okay. Mark Fenner here. Curl. Oh. Ooh, Johnny. I, I think he and just both go. Uh -huh. Almost. Johnny, I hit I think he, he touched the rock Thanks. before it hit the guard, it looked like. Okay. okay. I'm not sure I hit it hard, but. So you heard Dropkin saying they thought, I think it was Nine. Howell might have touched that guard, or touched the rock before it hit the guard. Didn't look like it really affected yeah, the shot, but Schuster's within his rights. If it was touched before it made contact, to remove that from play as a burn stone, but John, sportsman that he is, says it's all it's right, good. leaves it be. Whoa. Don't expect Throw any back. different from John, but in a game like Careful. this where that could possibly Keep give going. you an Keep advantage, going. that's great sportsmanship. Kudos to Schuster. I think part of it would have been it would have been a pain to put all those rocks back to <laughs> figure out where to go with them. Might have been called up here in the booth to figure out exactly where they were. Sure. See that or this. I'm okay well, with that. It makes that. more sense okay. to play the draw. It's just a simpler shot. Make it good. Now playing the run instead. Play that roll. Again, every time Stepera has had the option between yep. a draw or a hit, has chosen the hit that we can remember. As long as you make them, it's fine. But eventually, you need to make Clean. a draw, too. Yep. So the intern Art. from Stokera. Art. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Roll, 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 roll. 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 There's and the does. roll. Beauty. And rolls to a great spot. So it kind of made the draw and the hit by doing that. <laughs> you can get it here pretty easy. Great shot you from Stokera. You can call whatever shot you want to play as long as you make them like that. Chris Plies now is that's right where we're going. They're going to try and tuck it in between those two red stones on the yeah, left curl. side of the house. Definitely curl. It's going to be Colin. Curl, Colin, go. Out turn come around by Plies. Needed to Playing to a mile. freeze. Go. Time to go close, but keep pushing. Huffman go trying Colin. to turn it keep over pushing. and drag it down to keep that pushing. rock. Every inch. Every inch. Good, good, good. good. All right, Chris. Nice shot. I have Dropping that, can too. follow or run. I have the run. I have just all of it. Can't hear you. And I have just all of the red too. Favoring the hit. That's better. I'm not sure it is. It's it risky. Might just, it might just be the draw. I don't know. If you tick the yellow, it's okay, I suppose. Okay. Do you like that? Sure. <clears throat> Ten five. Okay. We need a little a more. soft run on the red. Pretty straight here. The plus side is if you at least open it up, you're probably not giving up more than two. But you're opening up the draw for Schuster to Clean. get out of the corner, too. Yep. Clean. Well, right when suggested, Corey yes. Dropkin said it's risky, whoa. but they're going to try it anyway. Curl. And Curl. needs to get up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's fine. And now Schuster can get underneath that corner, too. Again, shying away from the draw. If we, if space to get and so many of these shots, Corey is signaled draw first oh, and then had Stapera tell him he'd prefer the hit. Is there Probably space? no shot. Is there no space to be shot? What's that? Yep, not all counting this. I think you want almost over Barry over here, honestly. Okay. I think that's good, though. Do 
Final zone for the thirds here from Chris Plies. Should have room. Chris trying Lots to get underneath right that now. corner guard and right off then. sit either second now. or third. That's not good. Looks deep Super here. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, Don't want to yeah. set up a pocket. Six. Looks yeah. like it's going to go yeah. by that already, anyways. All right. And maybe can come through and get both now. Could also just hit the yellow and roll in front of the other yellow. Same weight that I threw, or do you want to I'm thinking 11. Okay. That looks like that's what Dropkin prefers. Okay, there. Pretty gradual, right? Now I'm a yeah. little surprised they're not actually just firing through this hole and clearing both the yellows. The double's probably there. Whatever that's you like. Yeah. <laughs> I, with what okay Corey's with been it. making with just those like types 10. of shots. And if we just now, make the roll, it's okay. Okay, they're not really the same shot, but. I know. Yeah, if you're going to play the double, throw it harder. I think it's, I think it's a 10 right here. Okay. Let's make it. I was just playing a 10, so it's a little less than normal, which makes this shot a little precise. It's that yellow one that's number one count is higher. So you have to cross ten. this and hit really thin on the number one and still got to make sure that that one goes out with okay. this weight too. So this is the, just make the absolute... Good minimum weight you could play to make this shot. So Corey Dropkin, his first of this third in, looking for a double. Yes. Close. Yep. Yes. Thought Hard, he clipped go. that one a little bit Hard. out of hands. Hard. Hard. It might be Hard. 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 Yeah, just tight out of hand on that one. Didn't get there. So what can Schuster do now to take away the double that Corey was just going for? I mean, it's, he's going to give us a, it's going to be a pretty straightforward double for him, but yeah. I mean, I guess there's probably a spot if I hit this hard enough where this maybe goes thin and makes it a little tougher. Yeah, I think there is. But let's just make sure that this, actually, if this one moves back here is great. So I'm thinking about throwing it with like 11, 11.5. Okay. Because that way the shooter stays easier too. Yeah. Like there. I think you can roll the shooter as big as you want, really. Right, right. right. Just have, we have to get it's a little bright in the arena now with the sun out, apparently. I think I'd like to just roll it dead berry. Okay. So, but I think that still gets there pretty easy. Like, so 11? I'm thinking think 11. The sheep five. agrees okay. with the Let's call, too. We can control it as well. I'm fine with 11 5. Because I think 11 5 doesn't kill the red and it makes him deal with it if he's playing the double. So Schuster trying to cross his 11, own five. counter, roll the shooter and the Yellowstone he's hitting both underneath the center, trying to take away any opportunity a for a double for Dropkin and for Corey's side. No, I, I, I just hoping he has some kind of double on his last to hold Schuster to two. To five, so. and that's why Schuster feels he's, he needs to move these stones. So first stone for John Schuster in the third end that Close. could set the table yep. for something special. Hoffman trying to hold the line. This is curling hard. Hard! Whoa! Yep! Leave it, Chris. Good. So that does separate those stones and dangerous though. Sits three. Right away the question was, is there a triple? Let's hear. I don't know if. You're probably too the third down. one goes. Yeah. Feel. Feel. It's close if you hit the lower one first. But I think I agree with Schuster. I, I think it's a little too thick on the first yeah, rock to get the one in the back yes. 12s. These two definitely go as long as yeah. you hit the, the lower one first. Just don't, I don't think you can hit thin enough with where those rocks are situated to get the third one. But I think Drop could be happy getting two of them. So Corey Dropkins, final stone of this third end. And close. Oh, oh. ideally looking for close. a double here. Clean. Clean. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't get the third one. Not really a big surprise there, but... Does remove the two and avoids 
the three-point end for Schuster. I mean, you might be able to roll over the top with nine, John. Think so? All right, yeah. ten. Give me another inch. So Schuster playing control weight, hit and stick. Ten. For a two. His previous shot close to this same track, yes. curled more than John was expecting. Yeah. So gets a second crack here of his last rock of the third. Schuster off the hack trying to see if he can take two and close the gap to one. Clean. Early clean from Go Huffman. Clean. Easy. Clean. Yep. This one tracking much clean. better than the clean. first one. Clean. Just cleaning in the nose by Huffman. There is two for Schuster. Big momentum score there in the third. Does cut the deficit to one. So three ins complete and a one point lead for Corey Dropkin. And Warm Room Hero is the intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. Warm Room Hero, a platform built for curlers by curlers. Check out Warm Room Hero at curling.club today. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club. USA Curling Men's National Championship game. Center guard put up by John Schuster after taking two in the third to counter the three in the second from Corey Dropkin. And now Tom Howell off the hack, the first for his team in this fourth end. Yeah, yeah. Right Turn come around for Tom, just trying to get to top eight. Always straight. Top eight. Don't need to be any deeper. Top eight, guys. Line's good. Yep. Good, good, good. Very That's nice. That's well shot. done. Right to full good eight job. foot. On, Perfect shot good from good. Howell. And the good thing about throwing it to top eights is if Hamilton is able to freeze on this stone, if you want to, if you're dropkin, you can draw open and sit two. Line's good. You don't have to keep stacking rocks Four underneath rounds. the center guard. Yeah, you can go. Lock it on. Line's great. Probably got to curl a little bit. It should curl, though. All right, Line's second good. here from Matt Hamilton. Oh, oh. Yep, go ahead. Yep. Need a lock in. Yep, that way. That way, Matty. I like this call from Dropkin. Get the game out to the, the edge. Keep it open. Play for your two with the one point lead. Don't start stacking rocks in the middle and playing this chess match again. Tom Howell with the intern. Line's good, again, look at the room. position with Howell's first, Joe, Line's that's good. what allows them to play this shot. Not coming into the top four foot Take a look. so that they can actually draw and be shot 35. in the outside if Schuster were to freeze. They needed to stop back there good. though. Very nice, Tom. Good job, guys. That's a perfect pair from Howell. Really well set up. Nine. First stone of the yep. fourth end for Colin Huffman. Come on, Maddie. Whoa. Close. Colin playing the out turn. Curl. Trying to roll Curl. in a little bit. Curl. Maddie, hard. Bars goes. Go, 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 go. Hard, every inch. That way, Colin. Gets to the four foot. Good shot from Huffman. Drop going to like to hit and roll back out towards 
the back right eights. There. It'll be deeper now too, so the roll like won't room? be as effective for Schuster. Just board weight for Cooch. Clean. Mark Fenner. Clean. Yep. Slide yes. Out turn there. Hard. This Hard, Andrew. Curling right now. It's probably Hard. going to wreck on the rocks in the top Hard. of the Whoa. eights. And the wrong way, too, as it hits so thin that it just scoots by, doesn't stay in. I think it's in just a little tight from Fenner out of hand. Yeah. What's the advantage to the hit and roll yeah, out to, to the outside spot. instead of maybe trying to freeze or go to the button? They're just playing open yeah, for two. If like you that. roll behind, now Schuster can freeze, and that eliminates your, your scoring options. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you're away from the center and in the back of the eight foot, they have to trade hits with you to not give up more than two. You don't, and there's nowhere to draw to for John because of where those stones are. You can't bury behind those rocks and not leave a piece Got open six, seven right now. for drop a tight, but So that miss is a big one from, from Fenner. Oh, heavy. Now John can continue seven. to draw to the middle, Eight. try to set up a steal. Uh -oh. maybe. We can maybe help ourselves. Girl! Well, oh, it's not helping us. Oh, leave, leave it right where it is. Okay, that's fine. Tick off that fine, top stone as well. Yeah, missed opportunity there. The So missed opportunity for both teams. Okay with the rip. I'm a <clears throat> either way. He might have to replace anyway, so. Mark Fenner with his second of this fourth Whoa. end. Curl. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Roll it. Roll it. Okay, not bad. Okay. Gets a couple moving. Another conservative play from, from Dropkin there. They could have hit and rolled in off of that stone that Huffman just threw. Now they're sitting second, but the angle plays well Two for three. Dropkin at least. John will have to guard this because... It's lined up directly to the back yellow stone, okay. and they do have an in-off off the rock in the side of the 12-foot. Line's good out of hand. Chris Plies lets it go. Probably curl then. At least. Easy. All right, line's good now. You can just go straight north south, Colin. Just playing to a three. Just passed over center line. Splitting center is just fine. End up closer to that two range, but the line more important. Just playing the peel again. Dropkin trying to keep the game extremely simple to this point. Like that? Yeah. Peel. Close. Playing the Close. peel to move both of these Whoa. guards. Yep. You almost Whoa. don't want to lose that Whoa. side yellow one, though. Well, carries through. Good shot. Moves the yellow off. Very yeah, good. I mean, Corey said it's good. I don't like that. That's Now that changes that gun back to the other yellow stone. John can pretty much hit out and Ten. force at this point with no guards in play. You like that, bro? Dropkin really wanted to make sure that he has something simple later in the end, apparently, because they've had two, three opportunities that they could have attacked, gone for two or three with where those rocks are set up, and instead bailing and opening things up, which I think helps Schuster. So Chris hey. Plies out turn. Yep. yep. Hard, gotta go. Easy. Whoa. Easy. Whoa, whoa. Curl, Matt. Intern hit from Plies. We'll yep, miss yep, the yep, back one and roll away. Nice and wheel. it stays, so. <clears throat> Sitting four. Some kind? First thought was so this. Contemplation for Corey Dropkin. Yeah, I just, I don't know Can why I they felt like they needed to get to here? this point. I mean, 
you're having Stepera talking about playing a wheel, which is hitting a stone, kicking Heel. back up off another one, trying to get a third rock. They're playing circus shots for triples <laughs> when they could have been playing hit a soft hit and roll or a draw to sit two or three. It just it, you you have opportunities Close. to take. It's the same as the previous game. Whoa. Whoa. You got to try Whoa, to score curl. at some point in these situations. Curl, curl, curl. curl. Stepera Good. comes in. So they clear two. two. Yeah, they, I mean, they're ahead. I understand that. They have hammer. They want to make sure they score, but they've they've had a chance. They had a chance in this end to really go for the throat on John without a lot of danger. Ten. You heard a nose job is great. <laughs> it's a little rhinoplasty curling style. John Schuster with his first here on the fourth. Yep, 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 hard. Playing for the nose hit and sweeping this one immediately. Right to it. Hard, Colin. Right to it. Whoa. Ends up on the nose. Good early hold from Huffman on that shot. I don't think so. Oh. I don't think so. Is this? Sure. Or not. <clears throat> yeah, whatever you like. Okay. Do that is. I think I want to play this. Try to get him throwing that out turn. Okay. Ten. Sure. I like it. This spot curls a little bit. Touch, yeah. Right Just a hit on the number one counter from Dropkin now, probably trying to roll behind the other yellow that's biting the forefoot, which would be a short run for Schuster. Ten, hit and roll behind that yellow. Spot should curl a little bit. So first stone of the end from Corey Dropkin. And I think Tyler, he's going to need a little help if he's going to get two out of this end. He's going to need a miss. Last some kind he doesn't seem to be too upset about the fact that he's forced into one as long as it's a simple shot but again the opportunity yep. was there yep. Clean. Clean. try to put Whoa. up a couple this end close close yep yep yes hard 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 roll the opposite direction ends up right on the nose Make it go away more than anything. So here's Schuster, just make it go away. I think they want to roll, yeah, nice to roll like a maybe a half hand. foot. What's that? A yeah, little farther. Like a under, mm -hmm. just and force Dropkin to draw yeah. against three instead of the open hit. And John mentioned roll rock and a half. See what he can do here. Primary objective with this out turn, yeah, though. First, heavy, take Throw out up. the stone Whoa. of Corey Dropkin. Close. Curl. Whoa. Easy. Easy. Straight. Straight. And it looks like it's going to end up on the nose. Same so way. Corey will get yep. to play the same path John yep. did, and I think yep. that would be his preferred shot here as opposed to having to draw the four foot against three. Probably a 10, control weight somewhere in there for Dropkin. Just needs to stick around in the four foot for his single. So last rock of the fourth end for Corey Dropkin. Please. As he sends this Please. in against three. A little Please. tighter path than Schuster's Please. out of hand, yes. but yes. they yep. yes. seem yes. to like it. Yep. Yes. Yep. Hard right to it. Please. And no mm. mistake by Dropkin right to the lid. One. Secures that single. So one for Dropkin, 
And back to a two-point advantage over John Schuster, 4-2. Schuster with the hammer in the fifth. Back at the rink at American Dream in East Rutherford, New Jersey for the fifth end of the 2024 USA Curling Men's National Championships. John Schuster did give up three to Corey Dropkin in the second, but you can get back into it if you take two when your opponent only takes one, and that's what happened in the third and fourth. So the three-point lead is now two as we start the fifth end with Tom Howell. Curl for light. Hard Andrew, gotta go. Gotta go. Push, push, push. Keep going. Going to a keep center going, guard going, to start. Going, going, Dropkin not letting off. Like to play for a force maybe on Schuster here in the fifth. Schuster right away went up and looked and said it's off. Yeah, it's not changing the shot. It just lets him know if they get tight to the guard the and wreck. Right, same with Rad whether or not the right, rock will be pulled from play but he's not playing the tick regardless. Probably never curl, it should get here. Right to you. Perfect. All right, Chris, let's get it. Out of the way, Matty, start. So the corner okay. guard from Schuster. Yep. Corey Dropkin already. On his haunches, mm -hmm. calling the shot even before the Schuster stone stopped. Line's and good. Corey's a little Root. behind on time. Just Line's play good. With a little more pace here. Schuster at 25 minutes, no issue there. Dropkin at 22. 47. Just, just under 23. It's not bad. They're not short by any means, but they'd like to play with a little pace. Really nice. Howell with another very good shot. He's been sharp in the early going. Tom's been at his best in this game. A little bit early if you can. Now Matt Hamilton. Hard, gotta go. Three, hard. Only three of the call here. Maybe four. By Plies. Hard. Trying to drag it to top house, but looks like it's gonna click the guard anyways. I, I said it. Yep. I, I looked at it too. I don't know. You're good. Agreement from both skips that that -line. guard was not touching the center line, so it doesn't have to. T Hamilton Stone doesn't have to be removed from play with no tick zone rule. Now, Mark Fenner. A little bit if you Top can. Eight. Top eight. Yep. Fenner playing the out turn, come around. Top four. Like to get to the side of the Clean. forefoot if they can. Clean. Around like to the top. rock that Howell Careful. threw. Top Don't want to be deeper four. than go that. Ahead. Just to top four. Right here. We're good, 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 good. Get to good the spot. tee, they get, shot. take good. the inside good. away. That's a good shot. Nose is okay too, but a little high would be better. Make contact here. And now Schuster wants to start to hit. Yeah, he wants Here's to Colin Huffman. lose this, oh. Oh. open it up, maybe make the run if they can. At the very least, right, clear this red stone. Doesn't make the run, but opens up that path. Guarding. And now again, 
the importance of these front end shots, Joe, with Howell setting a good guard and then coming around, Fenner drawing to the side of the fours. Dropkin's able to keep pressure on Schuster and keep from having to chase John Stones when John's trying to score two. Putting up corner guards. Halfway! Halfway. Can't use them Half. as long as you're still chasing your opponent's stones. Hi, Line's your good. Room. Line's good. To your broom. To your broom. Maybe just short. Just clean. Just short. Go ahead a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Curl. Curl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Five. Really nice. Well, good judge, guys. Pretty good shot from go. Fenner. Perfectly guarding that top stone. Save. And Colin Huffman here to try to run it back. Whoa. Yeah, trying to get close to nose, yeah. run this yeah. back to the other Bar. Reds. Pretty good from go, 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 go. Colin. Does leave the guard up there, now it's all yellow. That second red does bite at the back of the ring, so it's not completely out. Could Top make four. a difference for if bite Schuster decides to try to blank or he gets an opportunity to later. But Dropkin again, now keeping Schuster chasing. Good shot by Huffman, but Dropkin can wrap another one around with Stepera's stone. <coughs> Easy. Careful. Don't remember Easy. seeing Stepera throw a draw in this Line game yet. <laughs> Plenty we'll of room, right off. He's got draw weight. Let it work. It's Let definitely it work. running. Don't want to be deep now. Stay close, Tom. Right. Yep, Needs curl. a curl, too. Hard. Right. Curl, curl. Good, 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 good. Good, all right. Good job. Yeah, little missed opportunity 39. again there. That gets here? to the top of the forefoot. Could do this too, I guess. Yeah. Or even just freeze it, but. My initial thought was to try to lose it here, but it's hard to be shot. Yeah, let's lose it, Chris. Top button, guys. So Schuster playing the come around draw. They're going to try to score back end stones. It could open things up, but they don't really see much of an opportunity for blank, so may as well attack. Plies is trying to draw the button. Off the hack, out turn draw. Needs to see if he can one up Andrew Stepera here. We're off on straight. Curls anything. Plenty of room right now. Would like to cross that stone Gotta and get to the center right line. Now. Yep, stay straight. Stay Needs to be shot right. rock. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll. That way, Chris. That works. Good. Pretty good shot from Plies. It is shot rock and Dropkin will follow. Drop beats okay. This is a really important shot now for Stepera. <laughs> if they you can. Want a less? Make this yeah, freeze or even take this draw path away. It makes too difficult for Schuster. If it gets deep or leaves the same draw, then three comes into play for John. Copy. Careful for Queen. Careful for line. Whoa. Just four. This has got plenty of room Careful. again. Definitely needs to curl. Ooh. Line's okay, stay close. Plenty of weight too. Do Where? not want to be deep here. Close, Tom close, close. straight. Now turning over. Straight. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's pretty really good. good shot. Nice, nice shot by Stepera. Nice That's a huge shot good. there. Things could have started to pile like up that, a little bit for honest, Schuster. We can nose this back in here. Should move and this should just kind of stay. <laughs> Got to make it. Yeah, this and John's also works. saying something and you would think is obvious, do, but. If you don't make that one, you roll out of the way, we're kind of in trouble, but that one, at least they still have to make something, and it's hard to get this off the button. Okay. There are certain shots that. You don't have to throw it hard, Chris. If you decide to play it, if you, you know, don't make it, you're in a lot of trouble. Like this, we'll probably be okay, too. Like nine? Inside, nine's good, I think. This is one of those shots. feel like if we play this, we really need to make it, or we could get ourselves in some trouble. 
running this yellow guard oh, yeah, in, just with nine, just a little up, a little more than normal. It also looked like he had contemplated coming around and hitting the red stone what? Uh, it's going to take two stones to move them with the okay. type of weight you'd have to play to do that. So you can yep. move these more yep. with a run. Okay. It's just a tougher shot. And Chris Plies will try and do that. Hard. Curling Hard. the nose right now. Right to it, Colin. Right to it. Right to it. It's better that it's a yellow one than a red one for Schuster. But yeah, now for for Dropkin, if they can come around and unlock those stones so the yellow has no red behind it, that cuts down on the weight that Schuster can play on anything in. If they play a run or something to try to clear some stones, if there's no red behind that yellow, then there's no protection. So you heard Dropkin say, we want to unlock this. So probably be back eight, back 12 back type four. of weight. He's saying T-line back four, but I think he's throwing it to back four, back eight. Just as long as that red comes off, the back red, there should be two reds stacked on top of that yellow, and Dropkin would be just fine with ending up with a force in that situation. And Dropkin's first here in the fifth. Objective. Make it really difficult for John go Schuster ahead. to get more than one. Go ahead. Line's good. You can go. Path is a little inside where Stepera's was. Line's good. Freeze Careful. Good. Close. Yep. Looks like maybe more weight. Yes. yes. Now curling. Hard. You need to hold it on the nose Hard. of the stone. All the way. Right to it. 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 Okay, that's pretty good. Well, right. doesn't unlock it, but ends up on a good angle. I mean, it's going to open up our draw. It opens up a draw for him, though, too. I don't, I don't hate this. Because I don't think there's any way to hurt ourselves. I don't think there is either. I mean, because even if I hit the top side of this thing, I, I don't think it's really tough to do this. The problem is, is if we do this, spin it over the top and loosen this up. Well, we're going to give him something, maybe. But, I mean, I'd have to make it with some. But I think right now he can pick this four. And then he can pick this and we're toast? Yeah, yeah. we're in deep, deep. So if I don't make contact, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> Yeah. Even if it's not gone, he could probably hit this one and kill us. That's maybe the problem. There is this berry half right here. I know it still doesn't really open up much for us, I don't think. I think he can hit the nose of this and probably lose it. I think it's well, just, not, but I mean, this one's the only one that's leaving, and he's going to have three rocks stacked. I think it's just berry half here. And but there might not be, and then we might might be a steal. Right now, we're guaranteed one, and we may need to be okay with that. Yeah, I think it's very half a rock. <laughs> yep, and then I throw a circle shot over here. I mean, he's going to try sending it, but... Right? You think he's going to send it? Can I he mean, afford to send it? I don't know. So Schuster doesn't want to be the one to move can, these rocks the around. Seven, I'm fine with it, I think. Because yeah. it would unlock that back rock yellow. He's getting dicey for him. He's yeah. only going to have one rock left in, so... Yeah, yeah middle. So just throwing, I, I think, to a tight guard, maybe try to show half a little more than that with their yeah, own stone. The shot you've ever seen for two. Might go into the top of the 12-foot. Hoping we get to see whatever John's <laughs> thinking he wants to throw for something fancy. We've seen some pretty fancy ones. I don't know. Fanciest Great. one ever. You like that for a guard? So it's a high bar to clear. I was going to say, there's some clear. good ones on that list. So this is a setup shot for John, just trying to give himself something maybe on his last. Outturn draw to yep, take away Get options from Corey Dropkin to and then leave Schuster something for his final stone. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, they don't want to bury this. This is over curling right now. Great. Okay. They don't want it to over curl. They're really just trying to take, I guess they're playing it high from the start. I thought they were going to try to throw it tighter. But they're taking away Dropkin's ability to catch what they could see of that second red Remember and maybe shoot that yellow that out. Now it's risk reward for yeah. Dropkin. Okay. I think he's fine with a force here he too. Back onto this guy. Right. Okay. No, because that opens draws. this draw. 
Okay, I think we want to guard, like, right here. Well, it's the outside half is what he's tapping, right? Yeah, right here. Probably here. middle of that red. Okay. Well, interesting, too, because you talk so much with the hammer, Tyler of zero or two, and Schuster said we just might have to be okay with one. It, there just really isn't a, a good way in, at least with John's first. He's still going to try to find a way in with the last one, but he didn't want to move anything around to give Dropkin a, little less. a chance to clear that yellow, in which case they could be looking at a steal of two or three with all those guards up. So Corey's just going to try to take John's best option away right now. John will have something to try to get a second <laughs> point. It's just going to be something Always really curl. difficult, and hopefully... As crazy as he says it might be. It's always curl. Tom Out turn here, Dropkin looking to place a guard with his Lines final good. stone, which you don't Lines see good. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, taking Whoa, that good. tap away on that yellow stone and taking the <clears throat> path through that port away if they ever thought they could tap. Right. So John's going to play the double tap. Yeah, I think just this like is the turn I got The center yellow stone. It's basically like nose. It's dead nose. Yeah. Because it should and curl across and then send it again. So. Yeah, he thinks it'll pick up rotation. When he, what, what he's saying yeah, exactly. is because That's he's playing an intern tap, even if he hits this on the ah, nose with the tap weight, the guard should pick up the same rotation, well, which, which should carry it across the face of the second one too. Miss that pile, needs it to sit touching the button on this straight double tap. Is this in the category of one of the most amazing shots you'll ever see? It'd be really good. <laughs> It wouldn't be up in the very yep. top, but it'd be a great shot. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. 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 Girl. Needs to get up a Come little on, go, to get go. the nose. Go. 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 This is really close. Oh, just crossed. And exactly what John said, it picked up that intern rotation and had it cross the face of that stone. Otherwise, he may have made that shot. Instead, he has to settle for one and has to settle for trailing 4-3 to Corey Dropkin as we will move into the sixth end. And it's time for the mid-game break, brought to you by Broomfitters, where you'll find a full selection of curling broom shoes and equipment, along with unique curling apparel, gifts, and more. And for a limited time, take 10% off your first order with the code USA. Visit broomfitters.com for good curling gear. Back at the Rankin American Dream in East Rutherford, New Jersey. We're at the mid-game break for the Men's National Championship. Corey Dropkin, who defeated John Schuster in the page playoff for Schuster's first loss of this tournament, right now leads by one, four to three on the strength of three in the second end. We're joined once again by Dean Gimmel, CEO of USA Curling. And Dean, the women's final, we talked about success of this tournament, the unique venue, the number of people who may not have been exposed to curling had it been in a traditional venue. Uh, but now as you move forward, there's more that needs to be done for USA Curling to grow the sport uh, and to help uh, USA Curling as you move into 2024 some more. And, and a lot of it comes through the USA Curling Foundation. Yeah, so we are relaunching the USA Curling Foundation. Um, and there are four pillars of giving within it. Uh, I'd encourage people to look on the website and find out more about that. One of those is fueling champions. Uh, one of the things that's happened, Joe, is a lot of other countries have a lot more money, frankly, to spend on developing their top athletes. Uh, and while we value and really appreciate the support of the USOPC, they will tell us that uh, we need to raise more money ourselves. Now, I'm not throwing that all on donors. Obviously, sponsors are a big part of that as well, and we need to do a good job of getting more sponsors. But obviously, uh, if people feel so inclined and they want to look at the foundation, we'd certainly appreciate it. I do know people like to give to certain things. So we have fuel champions. You can also uh, devote funds to building infrastructure, which getting more facilities built, obviously important to us. Uh, you can also uh, divert, devote your funds to impacting communities in your, in your area, right? So 
Um, and then the other piece is just strategic uh, and operational excellence. One of the things that would be allows us to do things um, is to have uh, a bit of extra money that we can take some chances, take some risks, uh, and do some exciting things. And that's, that's where that would go. And Dean mentioned USOPC. For those who aren't familiar with the kind of new acronym, it's the U.S. Olympic Committee, but they've added Paralympics in there as well. So yeah, U.S. And Olympic it's and good. Paralympic Committee. I should note that our, you know, we're one of the few NGBs that also runs the Paralympic side. We're very proud of our wheelchair curling athletes. We had an event here with them against Canada before we got started. Um, not a lot of NGBs do that, um, you know, so we, we really want to support those athletes as well, they're among our most dedicated. Just out of curiosity for people making donations and some people have worked for companies that'll do matching donations, is the U.S. Curling Foundation a 503C? We certainly are, a okay. 513C, <laughs> and, and uh, we've had donors who do that. They get uh, Johnson & Johnson just matched a yeah. donation. So, yeah, um, and, and I don't want to be the guy who just comes on here and talks about, uh, talks about trying to get money <laughs> either. So uh, we are doing a lot of things, I think, differently at USA Curling, as I've said before in uh, my town halls and otherwise, that. We still have a lot of things to improve, uh, and we're going to keep working on that. Uh, but I think we are heading in the right direction. We've got a great staff, got a committed board. Uh, a board chair is very supportive. And, um, and then the curling community. Uh, you know, one of the things that I've learned in this position is without the curling community, we're not going to be strong at all. Uh, we've really tried to engage with the curling community as much as we can. And crazy thing, Joe, but the more you ask people to do for you, the more happy they are uh, about working <laughs> with you. So we do a lot of that right now. Well, and it's fair to point out, for people who may not realize it, there is one Olympic committee in the world that does not receive government funding, and it's right here in the United States. So when you talk about some funding from USOPC, but nobody in the sports world is getting anything from the government. So you need to do something, and sometimes you do have to kind of pass the hat. Yeah, and, and I mean, I'll be perfectly blunt. I mean, uh, the other countries are devoting a lot of money to supporting their top players, and, and our top players are incredibly dedicated, but they, quite frankly, have to do more juggling. And for people who think, oh, you know, high performance, sport performance doesn't matter at the grassroots or the club level, we work awfully hard at grassroots stuff as well. I would say more of my time is devoted to that than, than the high performance side. We have a great high performance team. But uh, as Matt Hamilton room. gets things going here, but good, the the reality is that that our performance the grill, guys, uh, on the international stage uh, does help grow the game. Right, Absolutely. there are people here today who really have gliding. never curled but came out because they know teams yeah, in this. So yeah, Olympic exposure helps, uh, yeah, and yeah, and doing well in, in, in international yeah, yeah, events yeah, makes yeah, a difference yeah, yeah. for us. Well, and as Tyler and I talked about at the start of this, one of the important things here with these national championships is that's who goes to the world and your performance in the world championships decides who qualifies for an Olympic berth. And if you want to grow the sport, if, if you're not in that high profile event, you know, and the number of people I saw when I was covering the Olympics in Vancouver, um, e even in Sochi, where they're not down where Line's the curling good. venue is, but they're gathered around the TVs watching curling. Line's for good. sure, yeah. I mean, and, and, and the Olympics are not an easy event to make. There's a lot of great Line curling work. countries in the, in the world. And, and, and our, Whoa. I, you know, uh, I have a spotty competitive resume right for sure, but I played in one <laughs> world championship. And I will say, if you're a curling okay, fan, you um, should Stop respect down. the players who do that. It's, I, I mean, I played in one world now. championship and felt an extraordinary amount of pressure to, to get those points. Um, and so, so these teams going feel that. Like? They feel Good the weight please. of the curling community. And I think the curling community can, in turn, support them. So uh, I, I hope we see that this year. So, again, for anybody, if you want to, you know, easy to keep up with everything in USA Curling, usacurling.org, the web address right there at the bottom of the scoreboard as well. Uh, but also Perfect. go there and, and click over to the USA Curling Foundation. You might be able to help grow the game a little bit more. Really nice. Dean, appreciate the time as always. Just Thanks, Joe. Those, those All right, Dean Gimmel, CEO yep. of USA Curling, as we are into the sixth end here. Yep. And Matt Hamilton, a center guard. Corey Dropkin played behind it. And now Hamilton will just over curl a bit, uh, but still keeps it behind the guard, but not up against that first stone from Corey Dropkin. And we're ready for second stone from Thomas Howell here in the sixth end. Dropkin leading 4-3. I just feel bad that this headset has to mess with Dean's hair <laughs> as much as it does. That stuff is quaffed perfectly right now. Full suit for the boss man right now, too. Mine's good. Got a coat and tie on opening night. He took it a step further here for the finals. There's one of the champs to we? our left here, Top Tara eight, Peterson, four. just taking a seat up in the, Wait, real close. we'll call it the VIP area. Full Sister four, Tab coming in here, too. Almost Congrats to the champs. 
once again. Good, good, good. Really nice, Tom. Got Tom. 42. Nice draw there from Tom Howell. Tyler calls it the VIP area. Truth be known, folks, it was Tyler's lunchroom. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of meals right at that table, yeah. It's a bunch of crumbs over there. Tried to clean up a little of them we did today before we broke away at, between the two games. I ate a bunch of Jollibee's chicken sandwiches <laughs> over there. Man, am I going to miss that place. That there right now? Please bring one to Duluth. All right, so they're oh, curling yeah. here again, eight. too. You right see a stone in the back of the eights. John Close. Landsteiner, it's always really faster after the mop. Might come down. Last chance I get to say that Let this week. Let it grind. Let it grind, Maddie. I know that's Steiner fine. feeling better. We see sitting behind the sheet right, in the building. Really tough timing for, for Steiner with that illness. And you know, to, to, you really wouldn't want somebody coming in cold for the final, even if they're up to shape. And that would be the same for any team. Makes sense. So, so continuity for the team going into the final here, too. But. Good to see Steiner feeling a little better and here supporting his squad. And now Mark Fenner. With his first Whoa. stone here in the sixth. Anything. Curl! Right, Curl! Soft weight intern from Fenner trying to get Curl. to the inside on this Reds intern pass. Keep going! Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay, not bad. Gets a good piece under the guard. Right, Pretty good shot boys. there. Right in there, Colin. Boy, another six inches yeah. roll would have made it a lot tougher, but Schuster's probably running the guard back if it is. So Huffman trying to lock into this pocket. So essentially Please. an out turn draw into the button. Well, good. But if really he can close. settle it in that pocket, Got it makes curl. it tough for Corey right. Drop to get it out. Mine's no good right now. It's going to get here. It's wait. got a curl, though. We can wait. Timed out all the way in here. Wait as long as you can. As long as you can. Okay, that's good. That's good enough, I think. Yep. Man. Leaves it at the top of the button. A little bump to knock that away. Yeah. Straight. Straight off. Yep. And Fenner second. Curl. Curl. And they're going to peel this guard away. Good. Had to go recruit a, another interview quick there. <laughs> One of the champs is going to join Joe in the booth after this end. Talk about how great they are and how right. winning is fun. <laughs> oh, Andrew. This one, at least we get to the inside of that or just get in here. Do you think that there is a time off to be wrong? When? Like right now? Well, let's just cover this thing. Let's cover this thing. I think three is fine. I'm fine with three, too, so. Not yet. Yeah, too early for that, I agree. You heard Hamilton, if, if you could hear him, Schuster. Was referring to his call, and Matt was thinking maybe freeze in the pocket right now, but I think then it's just bombs away for Dropkin, clear stuff up, and no real steal opportunity then. So John said, not yet. At least another guard, maybe later in the end that'll be the play. So first stone here for Chris Plies, and it's a pivotal enough moment that John Schuster was like, "Come on down here, let's talk this over." So that's what they did. Kind of mapped out more than one shot here, but for right now, Line's it's good. a guard. Easy line. A little easy right now. Line should get there. Go on, get it moving a little bit, maybe. Yep, go ahead. Hard. He's trying to get this to a three. Hard. Huffman getting it Let's to turn it. over to. Hard, go. A little more, Colin. Keep pushing. All right, good enough. Got away. Pretty good shot from Plies. Does guard up Is the yellow this? stone. And I like it. Yeah. Take tight mm -hmm. ice. If I touch the guard, I touch the guard. What are you thinking? 
Aiden or Peel. Applies, Peel. That's what I was worried okay. about. Yeah, they, they probably don't rolls mind up with Peel. their own stone if it gets rid Whatever of that yellow. Like. I'm okay with last if you like. Eight. Okay. So willing to sacrifice this red. Come in off of that to try to lose the yellow too. Only throwing eight, not a peel. Whoa! Just firm. Curl. That's a little wide out of hand. Need to turn it over. Curl! Hard! Whoa! Whoa! Just rolling. It's good. All right. So angles play okay now for Dropkin, but really would have liked to catch that thinner on the top. Yeah, maybe I mean, we could just throw in here too right now, right? What? I don't think they can lose the yellow. I mean, they can lose it, but they're going to lose their red too. Okay. What do you think? Maddie, what do you think? What's Scott saying? We have to cover the corner of this, though, or we're toast. I mean, if we, if we leave it wide open, they probably just run it on the nose. What about just tapping it? I mean, that's kind of would be okay, but the problem is where the shooter goes is our issue. But if you can get all the way to the nose and go side by side and tap it to froze. Yeah. Because even if you have to over and just tick this little bit and stay under here, like this rock is still stuck. Yeah. I'm okay. I kind of like that, actually. Okay. So. so just key line. Yeah. Okay. Try and tap to frozen. So trying to tap the yellow stone up to frozen on that number one counter. Schuster really thinking hard about this, making sure this is the right thing. So they want to get to as much of this yellow as they can and move that up. The frozen on that red counter on the back of the button. And Chris Plies. Out turn for a little tap Room to kind right of lock now. in that shot stone. Getting better. Curl. Line's very close. Straight. Straight. Hard. 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 This guy probably goes, but you can probably make that. Got like thick half, maybe a little more. Sorry? Like two thirds, a thin two thirds. Okay. Just kind of a dead tap, I think, is what I John think was saying. These expected probably, that to kick off a little go. harder than it did. Does the yellow go? The top yellow? Peel! Corey dropping come right in here. Is he going to do something with that guard? He's going to try to lose both these yellows in the house. He's going to lose his own back red probably, but they're okay Whoa. with that. Close. Close. Curl. Peel weight here from Andrew Scapera. Trying Curl. to get both these Curl. yellows Curl. going. Go ahead, buddy. Look at that. Go ahead. At least moves it to the outside 12. He doesn't quite get off the paint, but I don't think Dropkin was thinking blank at this point anyways. It'd be nice to get as close to the nose as we could, but yeah, absolutely. I don't want to tempt fate too much. Like 11 five? I think 11 five. I think that's a good yeah, John knows that as close to nose as they can get is great, more, but, but you cannot wreck the guard. And it brings two into play for dropping. 11 five, you guys all right with that broom? I'm having like trouble thinking like how this is going to run so bad. <laughs> is that a lot, you think? Does it feel like a lot? Kind of. Like yeah, I think it's good. What's, yeah. I think it'll get made in. Just throw a nice 11 five. Got to kill it. So hack plus to board. Soft hit for Schuster. Close. His first yep. of the sixth, trying to limit whoa, whoa, what Corey whoa, Dropkin whoa. can do whoa. here with the hand. Needs to turn over to make sure this rock Keep goes out in. and doesn't jam. All the way out, Chris. Good enough. It'll be just fine. Yep. 
A hit and roll opportunity for Dropkin. Could also Nine draw, five. but okay. Schuster has the in off off his own stone all day if okay. Dropkin oh, yeah. does draw. So they're going to play the hit instead. Nine five. Just throwing normal pass. Should be a straight side here, right? Yeah. Roll very important here for Dropkin. Could set up a skips deuce if he could get underneath. Now Corey Dropkin's oh, first here up. of the sixth. Can he get the hit and roll oh, he's yes. looking for? Just overswept there. Give me heard drop can call whoa. Same yeah. They kept going, and Stapera had them stay on. So ends up short on that roll. Does make the double, but far more important on that yes, shot sir. was getting underneath. Well, that's a big difference. Yep, yep, that was 11 three, so same Now, last rock of the sixth for Schuster. Little, the objective forced Dropkin into one. If John can get this roll, Corey's going to have to draw the forefoot Close, though. against two. Close. Yep. I think he'd like Close. to show him maybe a third. Oh. Easy. Girl. 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 Whoa. Ends up pretty much open. If that rolls another four inches, it's even better yet. But Dropkin's still content to throw the draw regardless. Just an outturn draw. Needs to touch the forefoot for his single. Okay. Basically, same that I threw for that draw last end. So, last rock of the sixth in for Corey Dropkin. How's that sound? Realtor by day, and here on this weekend in February, trying to become a national champion in curling. Out turn draw to the four for one. Line's nice. Is the goal. Line's good. No worries on line here from Dropkin. Plenty of room. Line's good. Running. Hasn't started Running. curling oh, yet. Good. Line's good now. 14-3, that really should be now. just fine. Can't hurt That's it. clocking out all game. Can't hurt it. Hard, 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 hard. Uh, That's perfectly done by Dropkin. And good to make one of those now in case he needs another one later. So one in the fifth, uh, six, excuse me, for Dropkin. The advantage is back to two, but John Schuster with the hammer when we go to the seventh. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back at the Rankin American Dream 2024 USA Curling Men's and Women's National Championships, we start the seventh end. Tom Howell for Corey Dropkin as they hold a two point advantage over John Schuster. And earlier today, 
We got to see Team Peterson win another national championship, defeating Sarah Anderson. And we're joined now by Tara Peterson, who was the second on the national championship team. And you guys win again. Uh, first off, what does that feel like? It, is it still as big a thrill, even though you already have a couple in the back pocket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've obviously every every time you win, it always feels good. Every game. And to get another national title under the belt is always a win. And an interesting one, at least from our well, perspective, really nice. we open the whole tournament with Anderson great, against yep. Peterson. You guys great, suffered great. the loss there. <laughs> uh, but come back and run through mm -hmm. the page playoffs and get the win. Mm -hmm. and, and what is it for a team like you guys with experience oh, to just kind of say, hey, it's a seven-game round robin. Nice. That's just one. Let's move yep. along. Yes. And, yes, our very first game, the round robin, it, we were awful. It was uh, – <laughs> we, we knew we could only go uphill from there. Um, yep, we were go. never worried. Uh, the ice was back pretty forward. green, and we were just learning it. And we would get better and better every game. And – even there were a few other games Clean. where we started off uh, heavy, with the heavy. other Go team in. getting three or four. We knew whoa, we could whoa. come back, and we always did. So It's a fourth whoa. national yep, championship yep, 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 for you. Oh, I, okay. I, I yep, joked. I said a couple in the back pocket. But I, I didn't fourth. know, so thank you. And <laughs> Good throw. But now, you, but now the big thing is <laughs> world championships. Four, you get to go to Sydney, Nova Scotia yep. in March. Yep. Uh, yep. And how different for yeah. curling fans who may tune in and say, hey, the, it's a tournament just like the Nationals, but what's different about the World Championships? Yeah, so this year the, the World Championships is super important because Got it's eight, um, right how now. the U.S. will get a spot eight. at the Olympics. Okay. So it's, coming down. We're not through it's though, right? even more important oh. than normal. Obviously, we want to do it okay. for us, but we, we want to do it for our country. Well, if it's through so. And I would think the way things are going, give you guys a good chance, perhaps even for a podium. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is always the goal, and right, if we play right. our best and we can, we can absolutely be at the top of the podium. Okay, we had Dean Gimmel in before. I'll give you a little mm -hmm. chance as well mm -hmm. since yeah. we have the curling community turning, tuning in. But what it means not mm -hmm. only for, for you, your Great sister, team your seven. teammate, to come out here and win a national championship, mm -hmm. but with the growth of curling mm -hmm. and just uh, kind of sure. to let Maybe people recognize – the six, yeah. Even with the success you have, you need the help of the curling community yes. for the elite curlers to keep going. Yes. Yep. We need help from everyone in, in multiple ways. I mean, one of the best ways is this curling stadium. Easy and early. All these games Easy broadcast line. every single draw. Like, that is huge. Letting people Where? watch. People that have never watched curling have now have easy access to watch curling. Um, and then, Stay yeah, close, Tom. it's, it's just bad. huge. All right, we are, Where? let's catch up here. Straight. Uh, no, quite all right. Fifth stone here straight. of the end. Uh, just straight. checking really in as Mark go, Fenner Tom. tries to hard. tuck it behind hard. a guard here. Hard. And let's talk real quick, uh, one final one for you. Just okay. in the course of that Good final job. earlier this afternoon, um, you guys like go that. through, you pick up yeah. the two and the fourth and then suddenly I get a, a position short, to steal, to steal. Mm -hmm. that you did. And yeah. just take your the yeah. mindset as you saw that end on, you know, develop. Yeah, we were in control really the whole game. I mean, I know the first two ends were pretty much blanks, um, but even last night's game we were in control. Sarah made some phenomenal shots last night to, to bail the team out, and unfortunately today she just wasn't able to do that. Um, so we, we got kind of lucky stealing there, and then it was just pedal to the metal, never take your foot off the pedal. <laughs> Before you get to the world championships, Mixed doubles coming up in yeah. Traverse City. Yeah. Um, excited for that event. Yes. I will not be there. I will be working. Um, but Don't Speca even get to go support anybody. No, <laughs> and that's okay. I need a little time at home um, to see some patience to make some money. Um, but, yes, two of my teammates, Beck and Corey, will be there. So it'll be it'll be fun to watch. Okay. And as we've said, Great folks, okay. unlike a lot of the other athletes around the world, to get support from their government and all that, they got day jobs, too. Yes, we, uh, we go so, to work <laughs> during so, the day. <laughs> so Tara will be at the day job. But we appreciate you stopping by. Congratulations Thank on you. a national championship. Thank you so and much. And good luck at the Worlds in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Thank you very much. That is Tara Peterson yep, winning go. earlier today over Team Anderson to claim a Hard. fourth national championship. Hard. Get off. And we're used to seeing here from Corey Dropkin, they come in. Oh, no with some heat to break things up. And as he said, it's spread out now. Never this. Sure. Yeah, these are all in good up. position okay. for Schuster. There's only one double available, and John is guarding that as we speak. Dropkin got sucked into playing under the corner. 
and slashing that run in. I'm not sure that they ever thought it was going to do something different than what it did. Go ahead then a little bit. This is looking like a, at least a two for Schuster as of now. Still early in the end. Four rocks left. Get ready to curl if we need to. No, we don't It's all kill mode now for Team Dropkin. That way, call beauty. Let's go. Great shot. So you say kill mode, what's the best option then hey, for John up. Schuster to limit those opportunities? Might even be able to get this to going in the, the air. Opportunities. Well, no, for, for Schuster to eliminate Corey oh, Dropkin just killing kill? everything. Uh, he's he's going to continue to guard the double. So that's the only way that Corey can lose more than one of those yellows at a time. Close, yep. So he's going to keep replacing these guards. Yes! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Oh, that one. Well, misses the back and that corner Great throw. red, so only gets the one peel. Still three in the house for Schuster. Probably another guard for Plies. Okay. Same. At some point, if you're Dropkin, you're going to have to lose at least two yellows on one throw. <laughs> Seems elementary enough, but the way that Schuster is setting up these stones, there isn't any real opportunity for Corey to get out of this end. They're spaced out just the wrong way. As long as this rock is guarded, they still have to play a run just to try to clear two stones, and Schuster's still playing for a three anyways. Good, 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 good. Out of it. See, that hurts this. I don't mind that hit and roll that Corey was looking at there. Even if it over rolls, you might bring some other double into play. They're gonna have a chat. Just he's, yeah. He's, if we make the hit and roll and it's not perfect, he's coming here again. You like trying to make this? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Intern. Intern peel. Okay. Make it good. I think it's the nose triple. Double. You can lose three of these if you hit it perfectly for Stepera. <laughs> Ran the nose. His last. So really like to make contact with these other yellows in the house. Here, John Schuster saying he doesn't want to make Close. a big pile in there. Whoa. Corey Dropkin may Close. not let him here. Good shot from Andrews to Perry. Three. Whoa! Whoa! Three. Oh, just papers oh. by that stone. Brutal break good. for Dropkin there. That's so close to really good. Probably here. Yeah. Okay. We know how to get there. Yeah, I was thinking like four. So now Schuster back on the attack. Can go underneath that corner, put a fourth counter in, and Dropkin still with no real good angles on doubles. With two, Schuster ties at three, he takes the lead. So Chris Plies to try and roll this behind the corner guard. Go ahead if you need to. On our right hand side. Colin Drop. Colin. Right here, right to my room. That guard yep, right there. Yep, yep. Hard. Good spot. Either make this or I make this. The drop, can, I'm not sure if he can clear both stones if he plays the in off on the wide yellow on the right of our screen right not, now. Not easy. I mean, I, I guess. There is a run triple, maybe even a run quad well. if you hit it just right. Unless he's like, he's here. What do you think, Cooch? Yeah. Okay. Let's make this double then. Corey thinks he can throw this one hard enough to get, get 
that yellow stone in the side of the forefoot out. That would be the ideal situation because you're still mostly buried underneath that red stone too. But even if it doesn't clear that second yellow stone, it's still in a decent position and you've cleared one yellow. I like this a lot more than I like the running. push it over there, it'll be another double back again. Half rock. Yeah, do you think I need to throw the intern here? Whatever you like. Out turn. Feel. So Corey Dropkin back to the home end for his first stone of this seventh. Corey's going to throw this yep. one real hard. <laughs> Peel weight off the Big inside half. of yeah. this counter in the outside 12s. If you're here at American Dream, folks, if he throws this real hard, you could put it down the hallway behind us. There's no store. <laughs> yeah, I'm going the other way. But Corey Dropkin here. Trying to limit what John yes. Schuster yep. can take whoa, here whoa, in the seventh. Whoa. 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 Roll, 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 roll. Just plays to the roll. A good piece of it, Barry. That's not a bad result for Corey. He's sitting Stop second. Big, so Schuster has to try to dig it out. Only see maybe a third. Yeah. You like center line? Okay. With, what kind I of mean, width? I only have to get it out of the eight foot. Thinking like 12? I'm thinking 12, because I mean, we do have to get it out of the eight foot for it to be any good, though. We're thinking like 12. I know it doesn't push it out of the house, but. Such an important shot for Schuster now. The first thing he said when he saw it was tough to dig. He doesn't have to kill it completely. He just has to get it out of the eight foot to sit four. As long as the shooter stays two. Big shot here for John Schuster. Off the hack. In turn. Important shot here in the seventh Close. inning. Yes. Yep. Hard. Turning now that it's across the center line. Hard. Trying to hold the line. Go, girl, 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 girl. All the way on the crest, go! That's, That's really good. good. Might be a triple for Dropkin. He's also looking at the freeze. Boy, the, fr the freeze for Dropkin, that's going to be a really tough stone to get out if he could make it. And there is also a triple. Well, before that, people may have heard Schuster say, I'll do this, and then we have a double for four. He's thinking if he didn't clear that other stone, he'd have okay. a double for four. Got a technical timeout with a mic issue there for Corey. He is looking at the freeze. I draw, we're typically playing right around here <laughs> for a center line. Is that for Tom or for you? I think for me. It, it didn't feel like they were taking very much ice from what I remember. Yeah. This is all or nothing for Dropkin, right here for the freeze. if he's able to make this freeze, too much ice or do you like there that? may not even be a way for Schuster to get it out. It could be a force. Like even if we're here. If it bounces it's off, bad. it's an it's open hit for five for Schuster. Okay. Hold on to your hats. Okay. <clears throat> Biggest shot of the season. And where's he trying to Dropkin. freeze to for people watching? He's just trying to freeze on that rock in the side of the forefoot. Mm -hmm. Be touching the side of the button. And even if Schuster wanted to try to play a run in to clear it, it, it might jam yes, on the other play. yellow stone in the forefoot too, so. I gave you last time. Here we go. Final rock of the seventh for Corey Dropkin. And this one. 
You'd file under finesse. Out turn for a very important a freeze. It looks like a lot right now. Where? How much? Close. Easy. Starting Close. to curl. 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 Three. This is a curl. ton. Curl. Needs to get Hard. a piece and go under. Go. Have any Hard. chance go, go, of not go. giving up a million. That rock is wide open like for five. Five. For Dropkin. Yeah, wow. For Schuster. We, we need four more than we need five. Yeah, I think 10 5. So explain I mean, that. I don't want to, like. Not much to explain. I kind of want to just throw overthrew 10 it. Just to take the sand trap out of play, but nice to get that extra. No, explain more. John 10? Schuster, they're going, we need four more than we you need think five. This isn't go snapping, is it? He's it just might. making sure with the weight. It's, he's still yeah, playing for five, rock, but he's making sure. Be nice to hit. It doesn't over curl if it gets to the center lines. Playing safe, using his own for a yep. stopper, but 10, still playing for five. Well, Corey Dropkin had three in the second. Last rock here in the seventh for John Please. Schuster yep. could be for yep. five. Yep. yep. Whoa. Please. Whoa. Curl. 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 More, Colin. More. Please. More. Please. Please. Yeah. Five times for Schuster. A two-point deficit turns into a three-point lead. Game is flipped on its head. Amazing. So Corey Dropkin needs to come from behind. John Schuster loved that end, and why not? As they've taken an 8-5 lead. And Steve's Curling Supplies, America's number one curling equipment supplier, for over 50 years is proud to support USA Curling. And no matter your skill level or budget, Steve's Curling Supplies has all of the top products from the most popular brands in the sport. Right now, you save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USA Curling 10 at checkout. Visit stevescurling.com for all of your curling needs. Back at American Dream. And five in the seventh for John Schuster to go up by three on Corey Dropkin. First stone of the eighth. Coming from Matt Hamilton. Joe Tollison along with 2018 Olympic gold medalist Tyler George. I think he just let it grind. Looking great. That's good. That away, just getting back to that again. Thanos inevitability <laughs> one way or another they just find a way again second half of the game Schuster you heard him say maybe the best end they've played this season feels they made eight shots to set up that five and then in the break may not have heard he said it was a perfect we're end. All there. now also talking to his team about we got to calm ourselves down now yeah, that's a big energy boost. Everybody's pumped up, but you have to refocus, settle, play another good end following it out. This game is not over. Three-point lead, obviously, in control. Team Dropkin a little deflated. You can see the, the body language for both teams is flipped. Line's good. Got there right now. Same as the first. We're on the same line. But Schuster wisely Six. telling his team, Maybe seven. that's okay, not the end. It, we got to refocus and calm anyway. down. Okay, let it grind then. You can knife it maybe, Chris. Timed out identical to this one, so just knife it. Just knife it. Keep knifing. Keep knifing. Keep knifing. Good, Maddie. Attaboy, Maddie. Second from there. Hamilton right up against that first stone at the top of the button. And Well, you called it, Tyler. Okay. You said for Corey Dropkin, it's all or nothing. And unfortunately for him, it was nothing. Yeah, the two-point lead, finding yourself playing a freeze against giving up a five. Something has gone horribly wrong at some point during that end. And it was multiple things. A couple bad breaks, too, on run-ins that didn't lose any stones. 
Line's with good. the amount of weight they were throwing, but Schuster's team positioned those rocks perfectly All the way down here. to try to set no that up. Guys. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. A little Pressure more. enough, eventually good. you get good them spot. to crack. Now we talk about hammer efficiency. Four ends, this is the fifth for Corey Dropkin to have the hammer. The previous four, only one did he get two or better, and that was those three in the second, where Schuster's had the hammer three times. He's got a two and a five to go along with the one. Room the mat. Three. And a lot of that is self-inflicted for Corey, too, with not pressing Girl. in those situations really running too, so. when they had hammer, playing conservatively, right keeping things right. open. I mean, it's hard to argue yeah, with being up by two, right playing the, the seventh end of the game, but they did have a yep, couple right chances in both them. those ends where they scored one, where they opened things up, played just to make sure they had a shot for one when they had maybe an advantageous position and could have played Board. to score at least a two Board. in those ends, which probably puts them out of the position that they ended up being in in that seventh. Two in each of those ends. Maybe they don't end up in that position in the seventh, but even Clean. if they did, they're only down by one instead of three. Clean. Yep. Mark Fetter oh. here in the eighth. Curl. Whoa, straight, 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 straight. Oh, wait. Tried to roll that under the corner and move those around. I think I just like nose. And that three rock Ten. stacked for Schuster now. It takes a couple shots just to try to position yourself to get a two or a three because those stones will end up being counters for Schuster. Yep. Little solid. Got to go. So you make now, your opponent waste stones there. Now Colin Huffman. Hard. I want to nose that Hard. Right to it, man. Right to it. Right red to at it. the top of the eight. Good. And get just a little bit of a roll to slightly bury it behind that corner guard. And it takes away the draw path for Dropkin. So it has to go around that stone instead now. Mark Fetter with his second. Uh, back P. Back P. Clean. <clears throat> go ahead. They want this as far back Keep as they can four. go. Probably and maybe free. still be Whoa. third. Right here, then. Right here. It's not going to get there, it's so they're straight. just playing a freeze to the top one instead. Yep. 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 Oh. Pretty good. Good call. Okay. Locks on that one at least, so they got a good result out of it, even though that stone... I mean, this one stuck for a couple shots. Quite a bit shorter yeah. than they were hoping for. Because it's going here. I like this. Okay. Make her good. It's too thin. I mean, you can hit the top side, but I mean, maybe six it. That's why I want it in here. Okay. So three? Yeah. Throwing to just a guard again. Joe, we talk so much about the growth of the game, too, while we got a second. and Haven't tooted my own horn all week, but <laughs> love to visit any curling club around the country, help you grow your, your membership, publicity events. I'm getting a lot of messages from people because they finally spotted me up here in the booth when the camera was up here. I've managed to dodge it the whole week, but still traveling the country. Would love to help every club I can. Curl, so it's never curl. Clinics, promotional events, things like that. Not going to be curled. I miss all you guys. For right those of you who have visited right before, I'd love to Stand see up. you again. And for Don't those that are looking to do something to help promote Don't their club, go ahead, contact me on social right. media. I won't drop any real ads or anything like that. But we have to make contact on it. love to hear from any and all of you. Come First visit that was you guys. that. On X and Instagram, at Tyler T. George. You got it. Thanks, Slide partner. into his DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, partner. 9-5. I didn't pay for any actual ad space, so I'm not going to give anything other than that. <laughs> uh, you just can't throw too hard or you kill the red. First time all week. I'm taking one. As Tara Peterson said, she's happy to have Curling Stadium. Yeah, and she'll go. be watching for the mixed doubles. Day job getting in the way. She won't be able to get to Traverse City. Hard! Hard! Yeah, got to work every Big once roll. in a while, too. A lot yep, of time yep, on yep, the road yep, yep. for these athletes, so... Whoa, whoa. Committed to what they're doing. Okay. Really nice shot there. Does roll open. Looked like that was going to spin underneath. 
Goes all the way to the outside 12s. Can in. just kill it. Okay. You get inside though, it out counts this rock. Pretty good. I don't good. think Nose does it. You got any space? I, it's edge on edge. I don't really want to get cute with this though. Okay. Think throw 10. Okay. Once I know we're by, I'll try to get it in here. So Chris Plies with his second of this end. You heard John Schuster say, once I know it's by, they need to get it by that guard. Lean. It has a chance to roll Close. in. Curl, curl. Put another counter Somebody. in. Let's see what happens. All right, well, that's fine. Should get enough of a piece of this. Pretty thick, losing that red stone. And for Dropkin, they need to move these zones in the middle just to have any chance of making that other red count, too. So yeah. maybe they can hit and roll off of that center guard. See, that it's this. I like your first call. Two's good. 10 5 or 11. Whatever you think. 10 5. <clears throat> 10 5. Do we need do we need more to make the roll or is that good? That should be good. Yep. It's just 10 5. Yeah. Soft enough Everyone. that this rock can hit a little thinner so it rolls deeper into the house. Wait, good. Clean! And Andrews Tapera seem to have Whoa. some doubts, but we'll see Girl. what happens. Whoa! Whoa! Yep! Whoa! Yeah. You got a stopper over there at least. Spins up. I think yellow's still out counting it though. We're we're third. You like what then? I know, but I'm not <laughs> sure if it's just this or we just go back to the well right now. Because as it stands, we just have to outcount this rock with my last one. But, I mean, he's going to send it. Let's call a timeout. Time out. Time out. Time out. No, For I John don't. Schuster. Joe, maybe we need to have a broadcaster's curling clinic. Get all these guys out here that call the games and right, but if I don't, have if them I don't actually play. The See if they can make a few, too. I'm in. We'll get you and Jason Knapp, Jim Cosimore, the guys we've done the games with before. <laughs> right, right. If I, if I throw 11, it should just spin and out count something, yeah. right? So, I'm fine. Okay. Do you guys like digging this thing? Like 11? Okay, all right. Sounds good. All right, sounds good. I'm in. 11? Uh, maybe 11-5, Chris. I don't want to go spin it all the way out. I think 11-5 kills it. Yeah. I'm pretty I'll close to plain field curling club, so I may have to go show my face. There you go. You're one of the family now. Between 11 and 11.5. I'm not trying to be even. Nice. I think it should go for this way. Yeah, that's the same line as I threw coming this way. Because as Schuster said earlier, I am in, at times in that group that just love to see you throw it down there to 100 miles an hour and knock as much stuff around, <laughs> even though it doesn't make any strategic <laughs> sense. That, um, that's everybody's <laughs> favorite thing. It's playing this out turn, soft weight hit, oh. trying to dig yeah. that. Yes. Redstone out. Hard! 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 Good. Oh. Ooh, got a little tight to the guard there, yes, but does did. sneak by. And so Schuster now sitting four. And Dropkin really needs to remove does that help us, though? Like, two of these probably to have any chance of huh? setting up a two still. Do they all go if we make that? I think that's the real question. Can he get them all to go? Yeah, well, even if he does, if the, he knows, the shooter probably has to roll out to do it. Yeah. I'm digging. And Corey Dropkin calling timeout. Oh, then it's just a nose, though. Yeah, I'm digging, I'm digging this. We kind nose of is fine, now. but in turn, rocket. This, no, I think that stays here. I think you're kind of tickling both of them, and they, I don't know if either, I, I don't know if this If you can remove at least two of them, 
and maybe get the shooter to roll underneath the corner. You're still hoping for a miss after that there. from Schuster, but may give you a chance for two. If you throw it hard and hit it and go like that, you, they go close. You've always talked about risk reward. Is I mean, it try to make this then worth the risk to go for three, knowing this. you may not Hope keep the shooter? Because are you guaranteed to keep the shooter if you get two? Vance, intern. Or you, or you I know guarantee is a strong word. And roll here. <laughs> you kill these two, probably. I think it's pretty close to going. It, there's no guarantees about anything anymore. Well, that's right. why I don't use the word guarantee. You just gotta whip it and hope it goes on the nose. What are, we, what are we playing? It, uh, we're playing this. Drop can now at six and minutes, ten like, seconds and counting. Yep. I think with a big chunk of weight, too. Give you an advantage idea. John Schuster's gonna have a three minute advantage if it comes down to that. In turn, PL, try to make the roll onto the right. So they are guard. trying to get the roll under the corner with this peel weight shot. Basically splitting the eight foot line from Tommy. Big stone here for Corey Dropkin. Whoa. Close. Whoa. Yep. Yes. yes. And doesn't quite roll far enough to get under the corner, so that'll be open hit for Schuster on that stone. Just make it go away, right? Yeah. Clears so two, but is. Yeah, I was thinking nine. Nine, just like. The one that potentially, like eight, we don't have the over, it would be sitting first. Doesn't yeah. gonna matter. Just here then. Yeah. If this nose is, that would be where you might think about looking at that shot that yeah, Stapera talked nine, about with hitting that red and trying Run. to spin both yeah. in. I think it just might be a little too thick. Do we got to roll a little bit? I think it's this. What, just peel? Applies is lining try, up to Chris. make sure there isn't a triple. I think it might be there. He misses it Kay. if the game's over. I'm fine. I'm going to throw nine. Kay. If we roll a little this way, we're fine, or this yep. way, so. Yeah, throw a nine. probably agree with Plies that just peel that out and take away the opportunity for a two. Clean. If they think that there could possibly be yep. a triple. Yep. Yep. Little roll. Really good. Good. That rolls under the corner, so it's a moot point on that. Probably not. So that's now, yes. Can you get the four into the eight foot? Yeah, Can they're trying to so. get both of these moving into the house. I think to get the four and the eight, but you gotta actually like hit like nose. Yeah, I think you're right. It's yeah, I, it's, it's probably just too thick. If you were gonna make it, you'd probably have to throw a spinner with an intern, hit close to nose, and then hope that the shooter spins in too. But yeah, I just, and, and Dropkin doesn't think it's there. Okay, because he's throwing into three. Is, is it one of those that if you don't get it, you got a pretty good chance you still get one? Yeah, I mean, you could easily give up two still playing there, okay. it. Okay, so. You might get one still. I don't know if this point might's good enough. You need to know you're going to get Mine's one. Good. So Corey Dropkin. Thought I liked it. Last Mine's rock in the red. eighth. The just trying to prevent blind. the steal by Schuster. All the way, guys. Good sweep from Fenner and Howell. Carry that all the way into the four foot circle for the single, but it's gonna be steel mode now for Dropkin. So one for Corey Dropkin in the eighth. Schuster leading eight six, holding the hammer in the ninth. And Warm Room Hero is the intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. Warm Room Hero, a platform built for curlers by curlers. So check out Warm Room Hero at curling.club today. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club.
Welcome back to the Rankin American Dream. End of our final game of this entire national championship tournament earlier today. It was Tabitha Peterson and her team posting a 10-5 win over Sarah Anderson to claim their second straight women's national championship. They're off to the world championships in Sydney, Nova Scotia. John Schuster right now in the lead, which would send him to the world championships for the men in Schaffhausen, Switzerland. And we're seeing Joe, not a big surprise. Right here. If you were going to talk about expectations, favorites for the week at the start, right that right Peterson and Schuster are yeah, the favorites until somebody proves otherwise. Both of them took a loss to another contending team at some point during the week. In this game, obviously, still not over, only a two-point game. But same thing with these, We're high. these big ends in the championship where? final where that extra gear high. that Peterson had and for high, the now that for Schuster high. showed, you know, putting together these four and five point Andrew. ends, that's the yep, championship yep, 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 pedigree yep, 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 yep. that they're able to come through when it matters most. And now Go Schuster again on the doorstep, up to with Hammer Make playing the good, ninth. Make it good. I'm fine with this, guys. What do you like? All right. And while I have not been to Siberia, Tyler, I have been to Schaffhausen, Switzerland. There you go. Just outside of Basel, right I've along the Swiss-German border. I've been to Basel. That's where <laughs> the 2016 Worlds were, actually. So beautiful yeah. area. Tap. I can speak to that. Not too far away is Schaffhausen. Got to go on. Tap. We can John, tap. Just and do it. Just do it. Schuster Stay electing on. to throw go. two out to the wing hard, on hard. the same side. Hard, hard. Right to it. Come on. Right to it. Right just to it. stacking over there. And for those wondering why bunch those rocks up right. instead of splitting the house, Schuster's, pl Schuster's planning on peeling in this end, and you want to have a side to peel too. So if they're going to hit the outside of the stone, physics says that stone is going to angle towards the outside of the sheet. So this way, they have the out turn peel you, boys. to Keep clear these rocks yeah, without having room. to worry about jamming on their own. They're far less concerned about how many they score as much as they are keeping Curl. the center of the Curl. sheet open Curl. and having Curl. a side to peel Keep to. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, good. good. That second one doesn't get to the top? center line. Okay. That was out there, obviously. Doesn't matter, though. There's a red rock hiding back there by the boards. <laughs> it's a Huffman peeling to the side that we talked about, the open side now. Oh. Lead, lead. Now turn peel from Hoffman. Still gone. As yep. Thanks, Maddie. I would think Tyler, you know, you talk a lot here about zero or two, Five. zero or two. You kind of don't want to take one. Schuster happy with one here to go up by three into the tenth. Yeah, John's not concerned at all about trying to score. If he ends up getting a two, then that's probably the end of the game. But the first, second, and third Line's objective good. are all keeping dropping Line's from Get stealing over the, get over keeping the, the center Line. open. Hard Tom. Hard Tom. Hard Tom. Okay, good. good sweep a big right sweep there, there from Stapera and Howell to get that over. Schuster's just going to clear as many guards as he can now. Keeping things clean. Yep. Yep. Good. And Colin right, Huffman will do just that. And no real reason to try and do a double peel there. In order to make that, your shooter has to be very close to nose and then may stay there. So you're like never risking coming that in. with a two-point advantage and hammer. Whatever you like. Okay. T-line. Coming in right now, it's a little early to come around. But they are going to go to the T line, you heard. Good, Where are we? We'll see if Stepera can get the weight right. Line will be good. Straight! Line's good. Line's good. No room. And plenty of weight here, too. Curl a little bit. I'd like this to 
stop Perfect. at least in the forefoot, but has to bury first. Good, good, good. That is in the back of the four, is buried. Good shot. Now another up. one for Plies. He's had a <laughs> solid game. Lead up. Yep. Another yep. peel for Chris Plies. Yep, keep it going. Good. Oh, Chris. Well thrown by Chris. Simple execution from here on out for Schuster. If these rocks play out the way they are right now, Joe, it's likely that Dropkin will throw a draw to maybe half in the eight foot on his final stone as long as they're able to Mine's good. Wait, looks good. put two more good guards Curl down. Right now. Curl. Curl. Curl just a Curl. tiny bit. Okay, good. Final stone from Stopera here in the ninth. And right away, Schuster straight off. You guys still like this? I don't think so. What? Yeah. Just sticking with the peel here at Hamilton. Asking if maybe they take a run at the double. But with the two point lead, you're going to be a little more conservative than if you were up one in this situation. They're going to have to steal twice in a row just to get Please. to an extra end. And John will have a, an open okay. shot on his last to score and likely end the game as long as they just make these single peels right now. So this would be one more guard. Yeah. And Schuster, I, I really doubt will do anything but peel. You could consider drawing around. If they leave a big chunk of the red stone, you could try to dig it out. Make sure it's tight. But if the guard's made so. well, I expect John, again, just to, to peel out and then probably end up playing a double on his last. Ah, felt kind of big. Mine's good. Little room. So first stone of the end from Tom Corey close. Dropkin. A little bit, yep. Yep. You whoa, go whoa. Okay. whoa, good. good. good spot. If he gives up the one, Tyler, does he consider the tenth knowing that the last time they played he did get a three-pointed on a great shot, but then stole three. I mean, it's the national championship. You just give it a go. But you're, <laughs> you could try. I right. mean, you're not going to be stealing three in the last end, though, because you're, you're either scoring or Schuster sc scoring. So you're going to be down one probably or right. game over. No, but I'm saying if Schuster gets a point here, he, the last game he played, he had two ends where he got three. One was the steal, one when he had the hammer. Well, he'd, he'd have hammer then, though. He wouldn't right. be stealing. No, 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 so but I'm just saying, in three. the previous game, Wait. he had Curl, ends where with the hammer and without, he picked up three curl. points in two different ends. Is that enough to keep you around here. and give a go at the 10th end? Oh, you're here. Right. Dropkin figuring out where they want to throw this stone. Probably half in the eight foot to sit two. Schuster likely would play the double. Like making I him think hit that's or what draw. Corey wants him to throw. Make him throw the outturn hit. Okay. If you throw the guard, you want John Just to draw. If you throw it in the house, yeah. you want him to hit. So it looks like the they are going to throw into half in the top eight foot. You really want it to half be second count. You hear Corey say the same. You're going to hammerize. What's the advantage to that play? Well, you're making John play the double because he's not likely to play the draw against two. If Corey doesn't get second count, then John can draw because it's only against one. Out turn draw for Corey Dropkin, looking to put hey. it in the eight. He doesn't want it any deeper Mine's than good. that either Mine's because good. the shorter the double is, Go the ahead. easier it is to make. 
So he wants as much distance as possible while still sitting two. Curl, it's curl. Looks like it's all there for Wade. Half eight at best. Bite. Needs sit. To sit. Sit, 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 sit. And a little deeper than he liked, but at least making Schuster play it. This double for Schuster well, likely for the national championship. Supernatural. Yeah. Should pretty much go right where we throw it. Yeah. Not a particularly difficult one, but not a gimme. Can make it with either either side. Looks like they're just going to play the out turn. Last rock of the ninth for John Schuster. Could this be for his ninth national championship? Comes off the hack with an out turn. And will this be for another national title? Real close. And makes it. That will do it. Three in the ninth for John Schuster. Handshakes as Schuster post an 11-6 win over Corey Dropkin and for the second consecutive year and the ninth time in his curling career, John Schuster is the U.S. Curling Men's National Champion. Well, Corey Dropkin really put pressure on John early in the game, getting that three in the second. Looked like it was going to be a different type of game with Schuster having to play from behind for once now. And then those early opportunities for Dropkin where maybe they could have played to attack, score another two or three, get a bigger lead, stretch that deficit, a little more conservative. Schuster rallies in the second half as the champions they are. That huge five-point end, we've seen those before from John in championship finals. And again, the three then in eight to finish things off. And a seventh end in which John Schuster said it was a perfect end to get those five. There you see John Landsteiner joining his teammates out there. And you're Schuster telling him, I'm so sorry you had to sit there for it, but you're my guy and I love you. This team has been through so much together and resilient is the, the word that always comes to mind with, with John and his team. They're just, they, they've been in these situations so many times and, and rallied when it matters most. Once again, they will be on top of the podium and of course we'll be cheering for them in Switzerland at the Men's World Championships, hoping to get a high finish in that event, secure some qualification points for the 2026 Winter Games. It's your former team, the team you won a gold medal with at the Olympics. A little warm feeling for you as well? Yeah, you know, it, you feel like you're living through it with them again to a certain degree. You're, you're distanced from it. You're always wishing them luck behind the scenes, things like that. It's it's not your team anymore. You know, it's, it's their guys' squad. <laughs> The memories come back a little bit from sharing these moments together in the past. I'm just happy for them, period. Your heart goes out to Team Dropkin. You know, I, I think they really felt like this was their time. And there'll be more in the future. They're more concerned with the fall of 2025. The Olympic trials, that is the end goal. Same for Danny Casper's team that we'll see out here for the ceremony too. But again, just this, this is what they do. This is what Team Schuster does. Well, and you talked about the aggressiveness, and it's easy math, so I'll do it. 20% hammer efficiency for Corey Dropkin, 75% for John Schuster. You didn't need much else if you're going to get a five. The rest <laughs> of them don't matter too much, but, yeah, it might be something to look at, you know, going forward for those situations, looking back at the tape when maybe the draw shot would have been a more aggressive play again. It, it, hard to argue when you're getting the lead. I mean, they're up 4-2. I don't want to harp on it too much because right. they put themselves in a position to win the game still. But sometimes winning that title game is about taking the opportunities when they present themselves too. And, and I fully believe that that team, Dropkins team, will get that trophy in their hands one of these years. I mean, they're just playing too well not to. 
And for five ends of this game, it looked like they had a great chance of being on top yeah, of that podium. I mean, but yeah. it, it's just such a, the, the margin for error in these games is so small. The level of play is so high. After six ends, they were leading five to three. And then that fateful five-point end in the seventh for John Schuster. Corey Dropkin won the first six ends, 5-3. John Schuster won 7-8-9, 8-1. And that's how we get an 11-6 final and a ninth national title for John Schuster and another trip to the World Championships, this time in Schaffhausen, Schaffhausen Switzerland. And again, the importance of these World Championships leading up to the Olympic cycle where the U.S. needs points from whoever gets there to ensure an Olympic berth. And then they got to go out in the trials and do it again to get there. Yes, they do. <laughs> so before the ceremony starts, obviously Joe and I would like to thank Joel Dietz, Matt Wall, John Benton for all the work on production this week, all the long hours. We thought ours were long. These guys oh. were here a lot more than we were. Uh, the guys behind the scenes have been here all week long, and I absolutely somehow they always got the short straw in the early <laughs> morning games, and we didn't. Yeah, the you know <laughs> the, the of all the streams that we've done for nationals, I, this is by far the the best production job that I've been a part of, and the ones that I've gotten to do. Joe, fantastic job stepping in for a sport that you're learning Thank on you. the fly. Uh, uh, felt like dip my foot in the toe here and there <laughs> on Olympic cycles, and you, and. I will say this, the one thing you realize, too, if you want to keep up with something like this, and now you can, I'll do the plug for Curling Stadium. <laughs> now that you can jump on a Curling Stadium and watch and watch and watch, the thing I really realized when we first got going here was by not watching as much as I had, I, I miss Curling Night in America, uh, <laughs> Tyler. Uh, but by not doing that, there's little intricacies that you, you kind of forget about when you're not doing it every day. I'd also like to thank USA Curling for making this possible for us to running this event here. Dean Gemmel and his staff putting us in a great position to make this broadcast the best we could. And here we see Danny Casper's squad talk about a bright future. This team has a lot of years in front of them. Another medal, silver and a bronze now, the last two years. Another podium for Danny Casper, Luke Violet, Ben Richardson, and Chase Sinnott as they receive their bronze medals from Dean Gemmel. Yeah, every player on this team, such a, again, bright future, same. same. You know, Danny Casper just, you know, it's so steady out there, wise beyond his years. Luke Violet, every shot in the bag, he's worked so hard to improve his all-around game. Ben Richardson, as steady as they come, it's just a force on the broom, too. I mean, he's a top flight men's player already. And Chase Sinnott, fantastic in the house. Great draw weight, great influence, good rapport with his skip. Love to watch that team going forward. And Team Dropkin. Corey Dropkin, Andrew Stapera, Mark Fenner, Tom Howell. Had a big win in the page playoff over John Schuster after falling the night before. But Schuster bounces back here tonight. But silver medals for Team Dropkin. And quick mention here, folks. We've, we've talked about the Mixed Doubles Championship coming up in Traverse City, Michigan. And you'll be able to catch it here. It starts February 27th. But you mentioned Danny Casper. He'll be there with Vicki Persinger. Ben Richardson will be there with Taylor Anderson. Corey Dropkin, of course, will be there with Corey TC. They're the reigning world champions. John Schuster will be there with Eileen Geving. Matt Hamilton and his sister Becca. So a lot of the athletes you saw here this week at the national championship will be at the mixed doubles. And now the walk of honor for the gold medal champions in 2024, Team Schuster. Yeah, this is nothing new for these guys. They've made this walk plenty of times. Well deserved again. Tough to watch for, for Team Drop. And I've lost four national finals. I, I know that feeling. It, it, it just makes you hungry to get back there again. No doubt they will. But fantastic week for Schuster again. Just a single loss on their record. A ninth national title for John Schuster. He had three with Pete Fent Fenton's rank.
But Chris Plies gets his fourth. Matt Hamilton and John Landstein are their sixth. Now it's going to be all about prep for this team, getting ready for Worlds. It's been kind of an up-and-down season for Team Schuster. They always want to peak at the end of the year. But they struggled last year in Ottawa at the Men's Worlds. They were the first to say we weren't as prepared as we needed to be. There's some things we need to improve on. They have, some, they have two months now to get themselves ready to compete at that top level. Such a tough men's field for the World Championships. These guys want to get on the podium. They're going to need one of their best performances. And We've seen in international competitions just because that field is so deep now. And Tyler, you talked about that trophy coming apart. They have decided not to lift it up. <laughs> they finally figured it out. <laughs> just leave it on the table. Don't take the risk. So they'll take the picture. John Schuster's name on there again. Again, first time he won this championship. First three times with Pete Fenson, who he then won a bronze medal, the first Olympic curling medal in U.S. history in 2006 in Torino. That before John Schuster and his rank along with this man Tyler George picked up gold in Korea. Got the trophy, we'll take the trophy. We're gonna keep the trophy together. And they've taken quite a few of these <laughs> photos over the years. You've talked about the importance of the World Championships, Tyler, uh, for people who want to tune in and see what happens when they get to Schaffhausen, Switzerland. Um, a podium is always great, but it doesn't have to be, correct? For our Olympic purposes. Correct, for the Olympic Getting purposes. in the top half of the field is the most important thing. But these guys won't be satisfied with that. That's the, oh, the first objective. If you can get in the top five or six, that's big. Just because seven really is the cutoff point that you're looking at. But, yeah, they're hungry. It, it, again, having that up and down season, trying to peak at the right time. The talent is there. They just need it to come together in the right spot. So Team Schuster, the 2024 USA Curling Men's National Champion, their second straight title. The sixth with Schuster is Skip. And a congratulations to Team Schuster and also to Team Peterson claiming the women's championship earlier today with a 10-5 win over Sarah Anderson's rank. Our entire crew from Curling Stadium right up here. It's these guys that really do the great job to keep us going and bringing you this excitement of these 2024 national championships. And back with you February 27th from Traverse City, Michigan for the mixed doubles national championship. And then in March, mid-March is where you find the women in Sydney, Nova Scotia for the World Championships, the men in Schaffhausen, Switzerland. And that's where John Schuster and his team will go. But for our entire crew here at the Rankin American Dream, we hope you've enjoyed the week as much as we have. Again, congratulations to Team Peterson, the U.S. Women's National Champion, and Team Schuster, the U.S. Men's National Champion. For Tyler George and our entire crew, I'm Joe Tolleson. For a final time from... East Rutherford, New Jersey at the USA Curling National Championships. Have a good night. All the best.